Hello, hello, Shagat Anum here. We're about to do some more Noita runs. Today is the 16th of June, 2022, local time, 1730. Holy shit, that was loud. Um, anyway, we're about to do some more Noita runs because I still can't get enough of it. I had a run last night that I thought, this is it. This is going to be another victory. Um, it's recorded. It's going to go up on YouTube anyway, but um, I thought it was going to be good. I thought it was going to be a victory. And it ended up, uh, there was like a little, I was in Hisi base, and there was a little, uh, like a little crack, like a little hole I could kind of worm my way through. I could see a dude in there, but it was still like fog of war, like, you know, blackness in there. So I, I, I wormed my way in there, I was like, the guy went, like, to the side, so I know where to shoot when I go in. I worm my way in, I shoot, and I blow up a propane tank, and <laughs> just basically insta-kill myself. I did survive a tiny bit longer, but I made the wrong moves. I might have been able to get away from the freezing vapor. I had just like a tiny bit of health left and the freezing vapor got me. Very disappointing into a run. I had a decent uh, damage wand to go in, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> good times, good times. So uh, took a little bit to get started today on the uh, starting soon screen. So let's not waste any more time. Let's start up a new game. Let's see what we can make out of this one. And let me double check the messages. All right. My volume's way up today for some reason. All my levels look good though on the stream. Make sure I'm not muted. Not that I would ever do something like that. I forgot to check what I have. It looks like I have mud. I'm pretty sure it's a mud potion. Yes, it is. Not my favorite. It... It's okay. Did that one-shot him? Really? One-shotted that man. There we are. All right. Something's already, you know, making steam over there. Like, I know that the, uh, the spitter bolt's actually significantly more powerful than the uh, spark bolt and stuff, but, like, damn. Still don't expect to one-shot it. See, that's not gonna hurt me. I, I feel like sometimes I get hurt there. It might be if there's just too much, it hurts you. Oh, yeah, they're polymorphine. Okay. Not what I'm here for. Let's knock a lamp down by doing this, I imagine, but... Yep. And start a fire. Yep. Well, let's take the, uh, the long way around. I was gonna actually kick that down to maybe kill something. There were reasons, there were plans. Now, I think we have a bomb wand, because we only have three casts on it, so we can work our way in there, no problem. One of those air wands, I don't really care too much for those. Let's double check. Yes, it is a classic bomb wand. I love explaining that to, to people who've never played the game. Or like describing it, you know, that oh yeah, you have a bomb wand. You start you start the game off with a bomb wand. Cause you know, when you talk about a, a magic wand or whatever, people probably don't imagine it shooting out bombs. <laughs> and we have a shop there with some mist or something. So one one heart, that's really good start there. I like that. That looks funky. It looks like an enemy almost. So what I'd like to do here is not that. I'd like to kick this up top. No, almost. You go back the other way, bish. I'd like to kick this up top. Oh, we already have one up here. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna let that do its thing for a moment. 
Um, hopefully we could, you know, use these to get in here without wasting a bomb. If we need any advice on bombs, we could call JC Denton. Actually, that would be the perfect time if I had the JC Denton thing on my soundboard, which I never have gotten around to. I, I'm a failure of a Deus Ex fan for not putting that clip on my soundboard. You guys like all switched places when I went away, didn't you? I'm kind of hoping is to yeah we kept that one intact it's a disc wand okay I don't really care to use burst of air but I do like my discs big fan of these I'd like to not stick with these as my primary um, damage source because they're so dangerous but it's good for now. Oh, we have a Stendari over here. Stendari. I think that's what they're called. Let's go check him out. Yeah, I know. I could have gone for water and stuff, but I didn't think it was worth it. First damage. It's okay. Little bit greedy for a little bit of gold there, but sometimes it pays off. We got a bunch of whiskey here. We can easily burn that off. These guys are drunk. <laughs> so am I, unfortunately. That's how bad my accuracy was. That's why. Uh, what do we have here? Square Barrier, Magic Missile, Blood Cloud, Circle of Displacement. I, I think I'd like Circle of Displacement. That was really useful for going in and out of the Holy Mountain. So I want to go with that for the moment. It's interesting to me how different whiskey burns from uh, oil on here. A different leaf. Oh, I can't hit that because it's stupid uh, whiskey. Too drunk. Ooh, toxic rock, huh? I think I got some whiskey in there too. Yeah. I really don't like that. That's okay, we'll make it work. We need a good water source. Is that fungus? In here? Why is there fungus in here? Why is there a mushroom bro in here? About to say, will he ever die? Should we fungal shift? Should we just fungal shift? There's enough there to do it. Ow. Whoa. <laughs> that man killed himself with the disc wand. So we have two disc wands already. The game wants me to use them. Uh, that one's, like, all around better, basically. Um, the shuffle's not, but that's okay. The spread's pretty bad, I guess. Oh, by the way, you may ask yourself, what does negative spread mean? Do projectiles, like, zero spread is a straight line, and then negative spread, they converge and they start... No. Um, negative spread... At least to my knowledge, there's nothing like that. What negative spread is, is um, your projectiles, some, uh, some spells have spread on them. 
like triplicate bolt. So by putting a triplicate bolt on your wand, the spread increases. Your wand gets a little more spread eagle. So you can counter that by having a wand with some negative spread as one way. There are things that also reduce spread, other spells that reduce spread. So that's a good way to help counter things like triplicate bolt. Ow! Ow! Polymorphine. That hurt. We have a wand? Yo, there's a lot of dudes walking around with wands, man. Okay. Recharge time is moderate. We can deal with that. Um, let's get a new a new thing. So this isn't too bad. Is it what's the damage on this? I always forget. Is it five? Yeah, so it'll it's the same. Oh no, it's eight. And yeah, the damage here is, is ten. Because it's actually got two components. I feel like it's a more, um, it's an easier to use spell, though, than the Spitter Bolt. Wait, why did he just take damage? Weird. Dude, we're getting hella wands. So typically, you wouldn't be going for wands here. You're, you're, I mean, you do, but I do think it makes more sense to be going for health. That is a shuffle wand, so I'm not going to bother with it. I was going to say, if it was a, uh, a really good uh, non-shuffle, I would be willing to drop another wand to, you know, give me something to use to build. Alright, here's a chance to get some water. Actually, that's going to make, like, swamp and stuff, because it's mud, right? Yeah, it's making that gross stuff. Alright, we can work with it. So, it does look like we don't have very much money, 265, but... We have already bought a spell, so that's one thing to keep in mind. We bought the uh, Circle of Displacement. So that was a good chunk of money. We'd really be... At um, 375. Let's see anything good down here. Money. Let's do a little bit more exploration, and then I think we're good to, to head on down to the Holy Mountain. See what kind of stuff the game has in store on this run. And I'll say again, I had a good run going last night. Um, it is recorded as going into my Nolita playlist on YouTube, where all these streams go. Um, but... It was, it ended preemptively. Again, there was just a little tiny crack I could, it was, it was in Hisi base. There's a little tiny crack that I could fit through where I knew there was an enemy. And I went in there and I, you know, it was like that, it was dark. Where, you know, like you could see the light there and you can kind of see that platform there. But it's really hard to see anything, it was like that. And I was, but I, I knew there was an enemy there. I kind of knew where he was, roughly, so I went in there and I shot, and I blew up a propane tank right in my face. It was awful. So I would actually like some of that pheromone. I actually took it. I think I took advantage of the pheromone healing last night. Now that I say it, that, I don't know if that's right. I'm pretty sure I did, though. What do we have over here? One of these boys. 
That is a shit fuck ton of toxic sludge. You know I want to drain that water into it. And if I get a chance, I'm going to. We got pheromones. That's good. And teleportadium. Um, that is unstable teleportadium, but that's fine. Because I'm actually thinking ahead for the, um... For the hourglass room, if we can get there. Ah, crap. I thought I had that. Yoink. Nope. Dude, this motherfucker is persistent. something down there. Green slimy meat. Like there's something down there next to him that I was hitting too. Alright. Let's pour some of this. Make it a little bit safer. Yeah, if I have any bombs left, I would love to... Um... Ooh, actually, hold on. I want to get to that teleportadium. Can I knock this across the oil? Yes, I can. And I think that's going to burn down to make sure I can get to it. Sweet. Now again, I want to take that to the hourglass room if possible because we get a bunch of spells. So this is something I'm looking to hold on to for a good chunk of the game now. And I don't know if that leads us to anything. Ah, damn it. Okay, that's cool. I would actually like to get that box. Mm, maybe I want the box down here. Yeah. I'm still trying to break open that toxic... Or, yeah, break open the path to that toxic stuff. Oh, no! <laughs> It might burn out. Yeah, it's gonna burn out. Oh, it's reignited. Actually, that might do the work for me. Oh, this is gonna do the work for me too, but... This is better. Now we have a route down there. Oh, that's so satisfying. It's so good, right? It's so good. You know what this reminds me of? The way this the stuff, like, the little pieces of the wood and stuff fall down. It's like teardown. But it's, you know, not quite, but it's very similar to Teardown. Because in a way, a, a voxel is kind of like a 3D pixel, right? Except it's it's larger. Um, but it, that's actually an interesting way to think about voxels. Is like 3D pixels. Are you for real? So yeah, I think that's one way to think about how the voxels and stuff work. So it, it kind of, it's kind of responsible for the reason the fire looks cool on both games, except there's a lot more going on in Teardown. This game has pretty simple rules because this is a cell, this is basically cellular automata is what this kind of a system is called. And I've mentioned that name before if you're interested. Um, one thing to look up on it is Conway's Game of Life. I actually did my own implementation of Conway's Game of Life recently. Um, what do I want? 
Those are very inaccurate, but... I might want that more than this. Now that's a tough call. Or I just get rid of the discs. Discs, I, I do like them, but they are a lot more dangerous. Oh, so anyway, I was going to say I did, I did my own implementation. A couple different implementations of Conway's Game of Life recently. And... It was a lot of fun. I have a, a small video of one of them up on my YouTube channel. Because I took a lot of ideas as I was going through it, and I said, what if I try doing this? What if I try building a chunked world based on kind of like how Factorio does its world? You know, ideas like that. Let's try to put this into Conway's Game of Life. And I think other people have done that before, but it's like me trying this for myself. It's a lot of fun. That's a large-ish wand. It looks like it. So the, the size of the wand, you know, it, it says something about your capacity. Eh, it's not great, but it looked like it would be all right. It's also shuffle, and I'm not as big of a fan of magic arrow. So we're just going to go on. Too many shuffle wands are showing up. And we're now out of explosives. Bone dust pouch. We're now out of explosives. So I can't really break into anything else. So if we do see a heart... I just can't really do much about it. It's kind of risky. If I want to do it, I need to go around. Because I'm going to be too close to that when it blows up. And I'd like to do it. <laughs> there we are. And there we double are. We got money out of it. Watch this man. He's about to poison himself. Maybe not. Ah, oh, I thought I might be able to make it in time. That boy's a little dangerous. That's dangerous in water. That electric stone over there is pretty dangerous. It's like a Ukul Skeevy, I think. And given that the name... Given that the name for the electric guy shoots explosive electric things at you, given that his name is Ukul something, that tells me that the Finnish word that means the same thing is like electric or whatever, something along those lines must be Ukul. It's just a guess. Well, we got about 700 bucks. And I'm just going to go ahead and hop on in here. Got some babby wands. We got the cactus one. That's what I... This to me looks like a, like a cactus... We got a lot of timers there. We could use that to make something. We need to get a non-shuffle, though. Everything here is shuffle, except for the really tiny one. Yeah, both of the tiny ones are non-shuffle. So we don't have a lot of good options yet. So we have extra perk or plague rats. 
I'm gonna go with extra perk because this is our first perk so it has a lot of chances to pay off for the rest of the run now so that's pretty good um damn it's good capacity the timers are good Bouncy boys are cool. Okay. Let's just see what this does. Runs out of mana. That's what it does. So that is a pretty fast firing one. Yeah. I could just look at the numbers, but... Also, this thing... See, it has spread of 22.9. You can counter that by having a wand that has reduced spread. There are things you can do. So, energy sphere, and this, move those around. I don't really care about no spread if there's nothing on the damn wand, right? Is this multicast? No. We're double casting and then it's also just getting, yeah. And it's got... I'm not disappointed in that as e even a temporary damage wand. I want to get this for the stuff that it has. Timers are good. But you can't do a lot with timers if you have shuffle wands. So, what you want to do with the time? let me just show. So, if I put a timer here, and then let's put a spitter bolt. I'm gonna fire... See? See how it's... spitting out the spitter bolt later on. So you could even do more. You could do something like this. And once I hit that, the timer actually pulls out both of these spitter bolts. So what you could do is you could put a bunch of damage on the... You could pack a bunch of damage into the timer, and that works with triggers as well. Um, it's basically the same concept. Triggers are a little bit better than timers, I think. But... That's what I would like to aim for, is... Just thought of this, I haven't... Eh, we're gonna, we're gonna not bother with it right now. But... I'm gonna move these off of here. We're going in with just that, that one shotgun type wand. It fires reasonably quickly, it puts a lot of spread out there. It charges reasonably quickly. It takes a while to run out. So I'm kind of okay with that. We're gonna recharge our bombs. Oh, don't do that. Don't hurt the fish. Feel bad about hurting them now. Um, so yeah, what you could do though is you could pack a bunch of damage into that timer or trigger. And then like when it hits something, all the stuff pops out and deals that damage basically on impact. That's why triggers are a little bit better. But we were just firing the timer, and it seemed to be happening just right on impact. So I'm not sure. Maybe we weren't seeing it in some of the other cases. But, yeah, so if you have it on trigger particularly, like right when it hits a dude, you're just gonna get all that damage on the dude. Oh boy. Get fucked up. Stupid fly. Hate those flies. Right, I want to wait till that guy gets over here so he could bleed his toxic stuff into the water as much as possible. Speaking of toxic stuff. 
DSP sh shows up. Why am I toxic? So they love to play that video and like this is how you don't play and stuff. They love to play that clip. Um, the reference was in Dark Souls where he had the toxic status. He was like frustrated and raging and stuff. I could burn that, but it's not going to do anything. It's not going to get me through there. That, that could be health hiding in there, though. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think so from this angle. Um, I had a pretty good TNT wand last night. Not my favorite way to dig. But it was getting the job done. This, I think, is... Do I do it? Nah, it's not. I should have explored more. caught on that. Yeah, I should have explored more. I thought this had potential to have a heart. Stop it. Jackhole. Oh. I don't know what that guy's up to, but... Let's let that die down a little bit. What do we have here? A fire or ar gunpowder arc. I don't like that formation. But a bunch of glowing lances. It is shuffle, but it's a mostly better wand than these other ones. See, that's what happens when you shuffle it. <laughs> Or when you, when you shuffle to the right piece, it does all that. Feels a little dangerous without any, like, fire immunity or anything. So, actually, I should say gunpowder technically does cause explosions. They're just really tiny explosions. So you could have fire immunity, and gunpowder explosions will still hurt you if you're right up on them. Get your dick right up on it, you'll you'll feel it. Ha! I was like, I see this coming back down. It's gonna get him. Totally did. Freezing liquid. That is not my favorite thing. Now we're back at the entrance. Wonder what that's suspicious. There's even smoke in there, there's gold in there. It's like something blew up inside of there. Use that slime to Get through the fire safely. Oh shit! I kind of wanted to fungal shift after seeing all that fungus at the start. I mean, we could fungal. Oh, oh! I didn't even see that man. We could fungal shift here just fine. But I don't know. It's so it's so risky. It's fun, but it's so risky, man. I've seen it in runs. Okay, and the one I'll bring up was Dunk or Slam. He fungal shifted and it turned um, toxic or flammable gas. It turned flammable gas into acid. And fun fact, flammable gas is what gets produced when acid melts something. So, yeah, that's fun. My work machine just made a loud ass noise.
the little sneeze building. But yeah, anyway, um, flammable, flammable gas gets produced when acid melts something. Oh no. Again? The game's not completely dead. This happened once before. I've hit escape, but I don't know when or if it's going to process that input. What if I click out of the game? Let me respond to something real quick. Okay, the game seems to have paused. I didn't even respond, but... Save and quit. <laughs> I don't know where this is going to bring me, but that's unplayable. Should be capturing any moment now. Nola. That's actually a spell. And when I looked it up, I don't think you unlock it. I think it's just always there, but I've never seen it to my knowledge. Well, that's a good find. It's a, a shitty no shuffle wand in terms of only three capacity. But luminous drill with timer. I'd rather have just a regular luminous drill. But we can make use of that. Um, luminous drills will allow us to make a very fast wand. So we can make our first machine gun, probably. Make a Fisher Price machine gun. I don't know if y'all, uh, anyone follows. See, I'm I'm too much of a computer scientist because I I would be like I don't know if anyone follows AI development or anything, and <laughs> most people are like no. But um, I could also word it as as um, there are memes. I I don't know meme is a word, but it's basically been memed at this point. There is the doll e um, AI which generates images based on text that you input. And I follow a uh, Twitter page called like Weird Doll E Generations. And one of the ones that I, I got a kick out of was uh, Fisher Price Guillotine. So it's just a guillotine. But it's got like weird, you know, bright Fisher Price, you know, babby toy colors. <laughs> And that inspired me to start, you know, making my own that were different Fisher Price things just to see what it would come up with. I had like, uh, like Fisher Price, um, M82, <laughs> like different guns and stuff. This is a terrible wand. It has spread on it too, doesn't it? No? I feel like it's not aiming consistently. Yeah, I'm not moving my mouse. Is it literally... Like, because if I'm not moving my mouse right now, like, the wand moves a little bit. If you watch my crosshair, I'm not moving it. But I feel like there's inconsistency in the firing. Uh, I was like, yeah, don't blow that up. I know it's better to feather your... Ah, I should have tried kicking that up here. That's a lot of dudes. Where do you all come from? 
I don't see a spawner. It's kind of chilling up here, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Alrighty. Not really finding a lot of what I want here, but, you know, we can work with this. I get a little annoyed when that happens. Bro, another, like, huge group of dudes. Shit. So now I gotta do this. I got that jerk bearing down on me. I'm gonna lose a piece of gold there, but it's okay. Hey, I still got it. We got that one. Uh, there should have been one in there that I didn't get. That expired. Yeah, there were a lot of dudes hanging out there. We've had a couple spots like that. No shuffle. Really good max mana. Bad mana charge bad capacity. Everything else is actually really good. Capacity and um, mana charge are dog shit. Really, really high capacity though, for this, especially for this point in the game. That's so much capacity though, you don't even need it. So like, one of the things to think about is using cheaper spells but firing them in a way where you could take advantage of high damage. Like, see, here's a good no shuffle. Ma uh, mana charge is kind of a little bit on the low end for what I like, but like everything else is, is pretty good. I, I do like reduced spread. I do like that. We got criticals, we got all kinds of good stuff. So see, that's a wand I can do something with now. This is energy orb? Yeah. So this also serves as a digging wand for the remainder of this um, area. Kind of. It's pretty slow and inefficient. But it'll get the job done. I uh, would rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not deal with that guy. I don't really like the way my wands are set up right now. Did we get... We did get, um, triggers. But that's a high mana cost. So I probably won't use those. I'll use a cheaper spell. Did I check that wand? I can't remember. I feel like I did. But I, I know I had momentarily left a wand a few minutes ago. I don't know if I ever... Yeah, that's it. I don't know if I went back for it. To check it. So let's double check it. Okay. See, we just need like an add mana. Yeah, okay, that's it. Someone I was commenting on the uh, the spread. I would like to not have fire there. <laughs> oh, it's literally melting the gold, I think. Pretty sure I see molten metal in there. Wait, give me that. What do we have there? Blue fungus? So we are on the fungal cave, fungal cavern. Ooh. I like what I see there. So the air being extremely humid, I do know what that... Holy shit, I just realized. This is like all flammable gas. Um, the air being extremely humid basically means it affects the way your projectiles fly. 
Um, because it's like... It's like humidity... Is, is the idea. Oh, broken wand. Yes, we're getting that. It also just gives like a... A permanent... Not permanent. Well, yeah, while you're in there, it's like a permanent damp modifier. So look, I have like 10% wet. As I go in here... Is it gonna increase? No? Not yet. I was reading about this, so I assume it's correct. On the wiki. <laughs> I mean, that guy has some water on him. I don't know where it came from. Oh yeah, don't, don't do that. He's acid. Don't be under him. The lava potion? Sure is. Okay, it just reduces your, your oxygen when you're in there. Not too bad. Alright. Where's that acid coming from? I want to check out these ones because we... Oh, that's a beefy boy, isn't it? Looks like it fires multiple. Yep. It's got a damage plus on it, though. Um, dude, this sucks because... I could use Circle of Displacement and come back. Yeah, it sucks because... Damage plus is really good. Especially with, like, triggers and stuff. You could do a lot with it. But I got all these other things that I want, too. Hell no. To the no, no, no. <laughs> I don't like that. Get that away from me. That guy's dangerous. Get him away from me. Yeah, uh, that's his room now. I'm not going in there right now. Yeah, I don't want to drop my bombs. I'm actually kind of nervous to do this. For good reason. Hmm, that toxic rock's gonna do a number on me though. Oh! Okay. No shuffle with a shit ton of energy orbs and like... Man, starting to get some interesting wands out here. I, it looked like there was some downside to that wand, but I didn't really get a good look at it. Um, what do we have here? More pheromones? Yeah. Oh, they're about to be growing some fungus right here. Because their blood... Will, yeah, fungus blood will grow fungus. Eat that, do a fungal shift. All right, yeah, I might come back up here for some of those wands. I'm really interested in one of those, like with the damage plus and all that. We could pack a lot of damage into our wand. And I do have circle of displacement, so we can come out here Ooh, that's what I need. We can come out here for free-ish. Very little risk in coming back out here. Oh! Paha, yeah. Paha Silma. Um, it's not active yet until you pick it up, but it cuts through things. Pretty nice. Alright, we know we can leave. We can come back out of here. So let's do that. Let's come in here and see what we got. Let's see. No shuffle, but it's got dog shit for capacity and stuff. Shuffle, um, the orbit thing is whatever. And it's also a shuffle, so not happy with those. 
We can get criticals, we can get permanent shield, projectile slower. Oh, I gotta think about that. Between the criticals and the shield. The wands you're currently carrying gain one to three additional spell slots to a maximum of 25. So what you do is you take this like no... Uh, cast two though, I don't like that. What you do is you buy... Uh, you buy this one. You get an extra slot or two on it. It's not that great though. Wait, does it cast two? Yeah, it does. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Oh man, I'm between critical and permanent shield. Best defense is a good offense. <laughs> Permanent shield is really good. That's the problem. Let's go permanent shield. I, I'm I'm still really torn though, and I almost this is like the thing where it's like if you have a if you have a hard time making a decision, flip a coin, and then whatever it lands on. If you feel bad about that choice, then pick the other thing. It's almost like that. Because I almost want to say, like, how much damage can I build up on one thing? And this would help. But... I'm gonna go with the shield, see what we can turn this run into with some extra defense. Um, let's see... I have something weird stuck in my head. <laughs> Hell no! To the no no! <laughs> I got the weirdest thing stuck in my head. Um, spitter bolts are cheap. Those are cheap. Spitter bolts are stronger. And they cost the same mana. So I would go with those. We don't need this many timers. Oops. We don't need this many timers. So we could do this to make this a little easier to work with. Um... We don't really need that many triggers, either. But what I could do here is... What is this fire like? Very horribly, because it doesn't have enough mana. Mm, might be able to do something with this wand. So... If I do this, this, this will fire as one. A fire on the end of the luminous drill but we're gonna run through mana too quickly so the problem with that trigger is it costs 50 mana energy orbs too big energy sphere also costs 50 did we didn't have any other ones did we no of a regular spark bolt but we need a trigger If they both cost 50, how does this fire? And then this is way slower. That's not terrible. So we could do that and then take this double. Put a triple on there, triple scatter, and go yoink, 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 and a yoink. So this is a trigger, so it has to collide. If it doesn't hit, it doesn't do anything. Let's just see what kind of damage this shows over here. Like 60-ish. 70. We could do better, but we're working with what we have for the moment. I'm okay with that. We don't have any bombs if I do this. And I kind of do want to bring some bombs. 
probably set that up, keep the bombs going. I can go get two, no, I can go get one wand, or do this and get two. It's pretty slow, but it is kind of beefy. So let's go for it. Oh shit, I should have waited. It's not that big of a deal, but I should have waited and did... Oh, there's actually something that's, that's gonna bother me about this. Let's do that. Perfect. All right, made it. A little bit more defended. We have two naked wands, which is what I wanted. We can actually get some money. I'm out of here with a bit of extra money. There's a big old chunk of money over there. We're gonna go for it. Feels good. We can actually keep firing this thing too, which is something I didn't check for and I should have. If you're building a wand, you should always see if you can't do a fully sustained shot without running out of mana, you should always check what it looks like when you do run out of mana. How long are you waiting on another fire? So we do have one shot that fires the cheap ones and then it fires the, the big boy again. That's not the worst. I've seen worse. We're still firing damage. We're not sitting there with the wand basically doing nothing. Which will happen if you're not careful. You have a wand that, when it runs out of mana, basically can't do anything because you're using... You have, like, crap on it that's taking up mana before it can fire any shots. And then it's, like, even like a chainsaw, for instance. That That's a probably a bad example because chainsaws take up one mana. So you're probably charging more than one mana, but that's the idea. Like, you could have something sit in there taking up mana before you get to really fire any projectiles. Your wand just becomes dead until you let off the trigger for a bit. It's fun stuff. Right, let's get a little bit more. Starting to rack up the, the money a bit here. Um, what would be nice? Ooh, I don't... Uh, suffocate. What would be nice would be to go up to the tree We could easily do that with Circle of Displacement. I, I always say tree, the caves. The caves where the health is, or where the health is at. It'd be nice to go up that way. Um, be easy to do a Circle of Displacement, because we can leave Holy Mountains very easily. I don't need to dig. Well, that didn't do much. There we are. Yeah, we can leave Holy Mountains very easily with the Circle of Displacement. So, it'd be nice to go back up there and get that health at some point. We do have a light spell, I'm pretty sure I kept it. Yeah, I kept it. 
So we would need to go into an active holy mountain and put that light spell on. But we got options now. What I'd like to do, however, is stay down a bit more. We don't need that at the moment. Whoa! It makes me feel like I'm gonna die when that kind of thing happens. Can we just like kill this man? Oh. Oh, we can we can free him. Aha. <laughs> Shit. I keep doing that shit, I will need the health, won't I? Hello. Whoa. Blood to power. Thundercloud. Unstable crystal with trigger. And oil. That's a lot from a treasure chest. I don't know if that's a great treasure chest or whatever they're called. I don't know if they look different, but that's a lot from a single treasure chest. That's pretty crazy. You don't see that very often. I feel like it's not very often that you get spells from treasure chests, even. So anywhere a treasure chest spot... Well, I don't want to say anywhere, but... Um, in formations where a heart can spawn, it's like a about the same chance, about a 33% chance for it. Um, is it? Yeah, I think it's like a uh, maybe about a 40% chance for a chest or a heart. But a chest could have a heart in it. It could just be concealing a heart. Nice. Let's blow that dude up. Yeah, every once in a while you'll pop open a chest and it'll have a heart in it. I don't know what the odds are for that. And in the last option is that the, the spot where it could have spawned a chest or a heart spawned nothing. That is also an option. So if you start recognizing like, oh, this is a formation where something can spawn, it may not always have it. You might just get screwed. What is that? Weird color of slime. Yeah, hell no, stuck in my head. Hell no. To the that was a horrible one. That was horrible. Okay. This is something I was interested in. It's a no shuffle, it casts one, so it's better than that. Recharge time is not great. It's got some good stuff going for it, though. Let's pick it up. Kill some of this toxic rock. Now, I think that dude up there, that robot dude, I think is guarding where I want to go. <laughs> I think the wand I wanted is up there. Robot dude's a bit dangerous. Invisiblium? Okay. Is that a polymorph shot? Wow. We got too many things to carry it. Ambrosia would be nice if I want to try the heart mage trick. Because I've never done that before. 
Okay, where is that wand? There's that chest I just got a little bit ago. I want to know who shot at me, because it was from off screen. From over here. There's no way he has the wand, right? Um, actually there is a wand. Huh. That dude carry wands? Son of a bitch. Get out of here. This is the wand I wanted, yeah. I don't think he had it, did he? Oh, I just realized, though, it cast three. That sucks. Well, it has shitty mana and stuff. It has shitty mana recharge. You need some add manas to put on there. pop up. Get rid of this toxic rock and look around a little bit. I might even find something to replace the bomb wand with by doing this. Fire potion, some kind of a wand. I want to get rid of this toxic rock first. I don't know what'll happen if the water gets on it. If it'll like corrupt the water. It seems like toxic sludge on lava makes um, toxic rock. I don't know if water would do something unique with this. Hmm. Bro, I want you to come over here so bad. Come on, Bish. There's a ghost. That is a ghost. He's kicking. Why? I don't know what kind of wand he has. Yo, he's kicking the shit out of those dudes, though. <laughs> um, what do you have, buddy? I was like, it must be crap. He has summon portal. That's pretty recent. That's interesting because I didn't know about the portals until like the, within the last week. But look at that wand. Wow. We're going to want to use that. It's a little bit less capacity, I guess, but... Oh, man. I would like to find a way to use that. That'll make my current wand better. I'll have to get rid of the critical. I think. We're gonna wanna come back in here again. Oh man. What the fuck? Damn. All those luminous drills, for real? What is up with this? Is that acid or toxic sludge? That's acid, I kinda would rather just leave it. Go ahead, confuse me. Confuse me, Daddy Noita.
All right, so there's like two wands here that I really want. Minimum of two. We off that dude up. If only they had a little bit more capacity. If only there were a perk that would do that. So I don't want this one. I want the ghost one. And I want the one with the luminous drills. You know what I could do... Is... Is this? This one I just picked up, right? Yeah. Do I want the energy orbs? They cost 30. I can get this instead and... Oh man, this is tough. I'm gonna bring this back. I'm gonna rip off like the luminous drills and stuff. You know what I might be able to do? So, I have this, like, one and done thing right now, right? Where it's like one heavy shot, and then it, it triggers off a bunch of other stuff. And that's fine, but what might be good is... With those luminous drills, I might be able to make us a machine gun. Does less damage per hit, but it's sustained. This would be a good one to do it with, actually. What does this one feel like? Oh, it's got really bad recharge time, so it's not a good one to do it with. Okay. Luminous drills are a lot like chainsaws. In their, um, features. However you would say it. You might need to make another circle of displacement. Let's put some bubble sparks up. All you need to make, like, a machine gun style one is a single, uh... Let's put that there for fun. Okay. All you need to make a machine gun style one is a single attack and then you wrap around. Three spells cast is pretty bad. I don't want that. Let's drop off the bubble things. I don't think I've actually cast fireball thrower, so... The modifier, right? Whoa! Progress one new, and it's the fireball thrower. Okay, well, we got a new thing. I didn't like that. <laughs> it's too scary. So on this one here, what does luminous drill cost? 10. So I could get rid of that. I could put one of those there. Put this here. Use a. Mm, let me think. I'll fire those three. Oh, actually. No. We're gonna fire... That, and that. So we actually want to remove one. We... We want to remove this. So we could make... A spitter bolt, a machine gun by doing this, I think, if I set it up right. Oh yeah, Spitter Bolt kind of sucks though, because it has a very short... life. Yeah, we can do that. We don't have the... we don't have the recharge for it though, do we? I'd want to put damage plus in there too. I could go buy that spark bolt. 
I would be happier with the spark bolt. Little bubble things aren't really my cup of tea. Now we just have the issue of... Oh, let's see, we just have the issue of... Mana. Mana charge on that's... pretty better, but there's a problem. It casts two things at the same time. Does that work? Oh, right. Recharge is dog shit. Even removing point thirty four recharges dog shit. We're going to drop the scatter there. And drop that formation there. Pick that up. Drop the bubble spark and the spitter bolt. We got too many things. Double scatter could be useful. Heavy spread can be useful, but there's other things I would rather do. Um, let's go with that for the moment. We can't dig, though. Well, we have bombs, but we can't dig the way I was digging earlier. Now, I think circle of displacement may have worn off. Yes. Which is why I rebuilt it. Crap. I don't have anywhere to put anything. It'll stay there for a minute. The spitter bolt and stuff is better on that setup we had earlier. That's, that's really a one and done, isn't it? I don't want to go up there. Shit me in the ass. Why did I do that? I fucked up. I don't know where I'm at. I was holding up on those next casts, too. And it didn't seem to take me where I wanted to be. The death boy. Actually, that's the ice version. He's not as bad. Was that a... What was that? We do have a problem now. And it is... Getting back into the holy mountain. I have unstable teleportatium. That's terrible for doing that. This digs a little bit. Always dig this way. Kind of a shitty old school way of doing it. Dude, I fucked up when I hit the circle. And then I was like, no, let me go back up. And I didn't seem to be able to do it. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're good. We're good. Because I don't have to go back through the holy mountain. I could take the shortcut at the top right here. This guy. Uh, 
Nice. That was about the best that fight could have gone. Oh, wow. Okay. No shuffle, good everything except recharge, but reduce recharge time. Or not, re or I say recharge, I mean mana charge. That is a type of recharge. That's something I do want. Reduce recharge works the same way as luminous drills. Basically, it's not as good as chainsaws. I'm gonna pass that money up because I wanna leave the spell refresher. I don't know what happened here. Maybe just that guy going, going wild. Um, not going for that. That's what killed me last night. I don't like this. Let's make him go through the, uh, through the vapor. <laughs> We just need to fix the mana issue. If we had an add mana, that would be baller. Um, we could even do it with this many slots, too. Add mana would probably fix most of that. See, this is an example of what I was talking about earlier. Actually, no, it still seems to be okay. You can get it to a point where it's kind of like not firing any shots. There. It depends on when you click it. Okay, it got... See, now it's in a bad cycle. And the Luminous Drill is taking up all my mana. And it won't fire any shots. That's the kind of thing when I say you need to test your wands for a recharge. Or for what happens if they drain. If you can't sustain it forever. That's what you be, you got to be testing for. You got to know what you're in for. You got to know what recovery time is like. Otherwise, you can easily set yourself up uh, with a, a wand that's not going to carry you very far. Carry you right to the grave. I'm willing to, to risk it with this because it does have a lot of damage potential in bursts. And also because we're kind of just going back up to the beginning. So it's not the craziest thing right now. Yeah, so what I didn't do, because I didn't plan on going up this way, I didn't set up uh, a light spell. So we're probably going to just ignore the tree for now. Which means I might as well just go in here and risk trapping myself because I'm incredibly smart. It's okay because we can't edit. This will fire missiles though. And I'm not a big fan of the missiles so we can use them to get out of here. The way they travel is so fucking weird. They hit the stuff, man. It's like curving away. Don't hit the statue, man. Oh, see, it just straight up wants to. Okay. So now what? Go back for... I should just go back for another wand. Because we do have an empty wand here. I was going to say I can go ahead and head back for the to rip this new wand apart with the missile, but no. I should head back into the fungal caverns and bring another wand down with me. Take advantage of, of it while I'm here.
Just had to see where that led. Like, that's suspiciously dark. Like, I haven't seen everything there. So I know where we're at. I remember this wand. We're right by the fungal caverns. Now to regain my bearings in here, after screwing up. I gotta remember, like, which wand it was that I wanted. I'm pretty sure it was... Up here? Or this one? This looks like a tiny wand, but oh, okay, it is. This, right. That one, if I want to make it, yeah. No, we're going to take that one. Also, I don't have to fuck with the statues if I want to make a portal, so that's cool. So let's head back into the Holy Mountain now with this wand. And I know some people would maybe think it's a little unfair to use a wand you get from a ghost because those are your wands that you had in other playthroughs when you died. So that tells us that I died with a portal wand. <laughs> um, I know I was watching Dunk or Slam do a video and he found a really god tier wand like that and he threw it away just for the spirit of the video. He's a lot better than me though. <laughs> okay. So, what we could do is plop a couple of these down here. Now, we could do this. This will make it fire even faster, but I don't know if we need that. 0.38 recharge, and that does 0.17 and 0.17. But that does 0.33. We don't need both of those. I think this will make what we want, because that's going to do that and wrap around. Wait, it recharges that slowly? Oh god, I didn't realize it. That's probably why I had the portal on it. Or... No, my bad, I was looking at the wrong one. I'm stupid. That's better. I was like, I thought it had good recharge. Oh, shit. That's freaky. Okay. That's actually kind of freaky. I don't know if I want it. Um, Make concentrated light bounce. Makes a projectile release a bundle of concentrated light as it bounces. That can hurt me. But man, we're dealing with good damage there. That can hurt me, though. And that's kind of frightening. Let's try this one. It does have better charge, which isn't great still. But by doing the reduced recharge, it's going to cost mana, though. We already had a, um, okay, this cost 12, this cost 10. So this was actually a better. Yeah, that was actually better. This doesn't feel right. Okay, no, it's fine. Yeah, we can get more out of it. Um... So I don't want to do that for the always cast. I don't want to do this for the bad mana charge. Keep the portal, I probably won't use it though. Put the bubbles up. Put that thing up. I can take that off. 
That costs one mana. Yeah. We got a light now. It one mana is so insignificant. I don't really care. So the only other thing we need, we need an add mana to, to slip in there, and it's pretty good. That's a pretty good wand. Damage plus, the critical plus. That's a pretty good wand for now. Man, my nose won't stop itching. So... Now I need to go back up and not screw it up this time. I mean, we have an easy way up, but... Don't screw it up. Put that on there. Look up when you do it, because it goes where your mouse is pointing. Let's see. So we are theoretically pretty close to the uh, fungal caverns now. We just need one of those other ones to pull through, and there was another one I was interested in. We can come out of there with up to two wands, and we can do a little bit of digging. So let's check it out. I feel like we just looked at that wand and I was like, no, it had a problem, it's too, the capacity's too low, yeah. Um, this is a wand I had earlier, right? Cast two, good charge speed, um, bad recharge time. We'd be hard pressed to do anything about that much recharge time. This one I did have earlier. And it's basically equivalent to what I'm using right now in terms of mana charge speed, and that's something I'm concerned with. And then this. How many slots? I'm using seven slots right now. We could get rid of light, but I don't see a reason. I don't see a good reason to switch to that. Bop that man. Another broken wand. Wow. Alright, this will have to be like that other run I- Oh. It's have to be like that other run I did. Where I might have to come back up here for the broken wand. Later. Hello! Uh, it's a pretty shitty wand in that it- I don't like that it casts three spells. I don't like that it's over a second recharge time. I like that it's got a shit ton of black holes, however. There goes our digging situation now. We have the best option for that. Oh, we got chainsaws. Um, this wand has a lot of potential. And we have a teleport bolt. Uh, we have a chainsaw, which could make this more efficient. If I do my wraparound right, I don't need two luminous drills. Um, actually, I still might want to use one, though. Cast delay. Because a chainsaw only does 0.17 recharge time. And... We'll figure that out. We're going to definitely pick this up. Because it's got good mana charge. As long as we're not casting more than 73 mana. That's pretty good. I would like the money, but... It's going to be... Difficult to make happen. Okay, we're in here. Ow. What? How did that get on me, though? 
That's why sometimes I think it's like gas. Because I'm like, where is it coming from? Oh, the Ambrosia got broken. That sucks. Yeah, so the broken wand... Um... We can use that in Hisi base and potentially get a busted ass, like, really good wand. Oh, that's terrible. Wonder why it doesn't cut through there any better. And we're casting like three at a time, right? No, we're not. What? Something weird's happening with this. Oh, it probably doesn't have enough mana to cast more than one. That's a pretty terrible um, shot, though. We need we need to use that on a better wand, basically. It's a start. We can work with it for sure. What was I reading? What what was I reading? Something obviously just popped up. That is is that a heart mage up here? Did you get polymorphed? Yeah, okay, I was like, that's a heart mage, isn't it? Yo, what's going on, Zach? <laughs> oh man. It's always fun trying to explain the late uh um but welcome, it's been a minute since I've seen you. These are some kind of notes. Hang on, let me read this. Book of Guidance. One of my brethren ran away in order to escape our predicament. They felt our understanding of this world was to be forbidden. They hid something here in this room, but I lack the ability to truly see what is here. Yes, welcome, and thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Um, let me explain Noita. It is a roguelite, first and foremost. Uh, so that already goes a long way to just helping set things up. It is... There are these kind of like toy programs out there uh, that they call them like falling sand games. <laughs> hey. You, you're, you're putting in work. Thank you again for the bits. It'll change eventually. You're putting in work. Um... People call them falling sand games, and they're basically like you set up a picture or whatever, and, and there's a bunch of different, like, uh, materials, and then you kind of, like, turn the game on, and everything, like, physics happen, things burn, things fall, whatever, and again, they call it, like, a falling sand game. So, it's basically that idea turned into more, turned into a roguelite, turned into more of an actual, like, game, instead of just kind of like a little toy. Um, that's the the general premise that kind of sets things up. So, like, every pixel you see is a different material. And you see it up here in the top, next to my, uh, next to my item bar. If I mouse over this, you see it says ground. We have rock here. We have toxic sludge here. Different bits, emotes, I like it. We got Bible Thump in there. <laughs> Ooh, we got a snow- Ooh, that snowman on the emote wall was just bopping. So anyway, Toxic Sludge, Ambrosia, we have weird fungus here, which you can eat and get high, and there's cool stuff about that I'll explain. See the screen's getting all funky. Um, so you got a shit ton of different materials in the game, and they all have, a lot of them have very interesting ways they interact with each other, I won't say they all, but they have interesting ways that they can react with each other. Um, some of it makes sense, like fire burns wood, and you know, different materials like grass, you know, plants and stuff, fire burns through that very effectively. Stuff like that, that makes sense, right? Nothing crazy there. 
Um, happy Pride Month, thank you. Um, what is this? Brass plus fungal soil pouch. We don't need that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yoink. Black hole our way through that. Because I want to see this wand. And we're about to talk about wands as I explain what this is. What this game is. Um, I don't want that wand. Okay. So... Anyway, all the materials are like do fun interactions with each other and stuff, and that's the initial kind of setup. Um, gameplay, you start out at the top of the map, going into like a cave, and you just descend through like eight different biomes, and then you get to the last boss. There's a little bit more to it than that, but um, one of the things you're doing the whole time is you're you're getting like gold. And you're getting, um, you're getting, like, different wands and stuff. And a big thing that you can do is you can use the wands to, uh, you can, like, mix and match the spells and stuff. So it's like a whole mechanic of, of making your own wands, uh, to, you know, be the most effective you can in combat. Oh, you just throwing the bits out, thank you. So, you can only edit wands if you have a perk. This says Tinker with Wands Everywhere, or if you're in this safe place called Holy Mountain. So, I wanted to come back here, and we're gonna try this wand here. I'm just gonna swap everything for the moment, but I see chains, oh yeah, get them brands out there. Um, I see we have... Ooh, I just realized Spark Bolt with Trigger. That might change things. We have Chainsaws. And if I put that right there... This is gonna Machine Gun, but we're actually not gonna reduce this as much as I would like. Yeah, I don't like that. You already had out. All right. Well, thanks for the uh, thanks for the bits and thanks for stopping in. See, I wasn't even halfway done trying to explain this. Um, we could we could sneak this in there. Now, oh, we're getting caught on the chainsaw. This is something I warned about earlier. Shit. We got so much mana charge, but it's still not enough. Okay. We need another another option. We could do the spark bolt. What's the delay on this? Delay is not bad. We could do a spark bolt, and then inside of it, we could pack a couple smaller spells like this. And we could fire this all day. I like that. I like that. Until we can machine gun this, which we don't have the resources for, I like that. We're gonna hold on to the teleport bolt. Um, I will throw away my bomb wand. Because we have black holes. And I will throw away... I'll throw away the energy orb with trigger. This holy mountain is just loaded with stuff. <laughs> We're using it for, like, everything. Um, throw away the energy orbs. I want to disassemble this wand here a bit. It's so good on the surface, but the mana charge, man, the mana charge is what's getting me. We want the chainsaw, we want the luminous drills. I don't really care about the bifurcated or the firebolt with trigger. So... Let's see. Hold on, one second.
Hell of a sneeze. All right, we got lights on the black holes and we got luminous drills on there. Just realized that. We don't really need more than one light. So I'm gonna drop that and... Double scatter spell. Bifurcation might actually be better. Multicast, this is also a multicast, plus 10. Except, um, bifurcated is two mana, this is zero mana. We're gonna put it on a trigger, I don't know if I have a preference. Let me get rid of one luminous drill, we're gonna keep both of these. And then I'm gonna drop this wand, like right here. Alright. Now... That... It's an interesting damage wand. We're not gonna completely drop that wand yet. Because... I wanna do this. See, I don't have another way in here... ...yet. I mean, I could do some digging, but... ...whatever. Okay, let's pack this back up, and then let's drop this wand. Oh, I shot two. Hello. It's a mimic. Oh, I, I killed it. But yeah, it was a mimic. We did damage to it. <laughs> No, you don't. Jackass. Is that gold? Nope. What is that yellow pixel there? Did he pee in the snow? Somebody peed in the snow. <laughs> Alright, we doing some damage. I feel like what I had set up earlier might be might have been a little bit better, but I do like this kind of wand a bit more. The spark bolt. I want to go through there before money's gone. Man, that's we're finding a lot of good spells, so I think we're gonna be able to do something good on this run if I stay alive. I don't like to talk too early about, you know, like, oh yeah, we've totally, like, we're gonna win this. I don't like to get into that too early. Because anything can always happen. You can feel comfortable about a run, though. I'm still holding out for a slightly better wand, which will let me do what I want. Now, this, this does happen on runs where you just keep waiting on better wands and you never really find what you want. It does happen. And you just gotta accept it, you just gotta deal with it. Take what you get and make the best out of it. Don't just complain. I mean, it's okay to complain, but... Don't just complain. I think it's called, um... Is it Gas Blood? Or something? There is a perk that actually gives you freezing vapor immunity. Or, I don't know if it's complete immunity, but... It's... it's something, for sure. Break all that shit. Oh, 
Oh, that man. That's got, that dude's got a wand. Is that an Uko with a wand? I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse. Ooh, stop it. That was a terrible mistake on my part. I made myself vulnerable. I need to get somewhere where I have a better shot on him. Oh, he can't, he's like pretty useless now. Because those bolts drop. Or they, they're not dropper bolt. Yeah, no, they're just those. No shuffle, it casts two. It always casts liquid detonation. Oh man, yeah, that was dangerous. I was about to ask if we had another guy with a wand. It's kind of felt like it. Come on. Wash this shit off. Summon Rock Spirit. A lot of time trying to wash it off, the gold ran away. Chili water? Yeah. I don't really care. I mean, I do, I like consistency. But, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, I'd actually like to go back up where the Uko was at. And... See what was hanging out in that room. There was a wand in there. Oh, this is it. I thought I was going to black hole my way in. Uh, ooh, spark bolt with trigger, huh? Well, we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. Might be able to do something fun with it. I'm really, really, really hoping that the... Either the perk gods are in my favor, or the broken wand, or both, right? But perk gods can actually have a, a role to play in that broken wand. Like if I get the no more shuffle perk. What is that? Just a ball of snow? Oh, why is there a Hambro out here? I thought they only spawned from kicking the statue. From bra from breaking the hand statue. But you had, you had to like melee it, so I don't know if someone else did that. Because if you destroy the statue, I did read this on the wiki, if you destroy the statue, Hambros won't spawn. Prickly spore pot I still haven't used, have I? Now I have progress to new. I kind of like to try it on that machine over here because I hate them. Didn't do much. There we go. Damn it. Too far. Not anymore. Let's 
so far not finding much in the way of wands or anything out here that interests me, but I can roll with this. Bullshit. All right, let's not risk it. I'm feeling a little sloppy right now, so let's not risk it more than I need to. Let's see if we can overcome Heesey Base. Oh man, too bad it's a shuffle. We got some stuff there. Linear Arc. See, that deals damage. Um, that's really good to combine with... Um with the spark bolt, with the trigger stuff, but we don't have room for it. What's going on, Sluggerath? Is that a Lovecraft reference? It's, it's similar naming, right? Um, <laughs> nice name. Was it indeed a Lovecraft reference then? <laughs> So this wand is interesting. I don't know how I feel about the always cast. I don't know how this will pack in with my stuff. We have a glimmer here, which could be useful. Um, we have glass cannon. <laughs> Exploding corpses could be fun for the explosive damage. That'll make the jungle a little bit more dangerous, but fun. Um, as for the, there's like a, a couple different, uh, uh, actually, I don't know that the, that the turret actually shot the fireball. I think it was that dude. Cause there was a, there was a he see there as well. <sighs> Exploding corpses or do I risk it for something else? do exploding it is a good perk but it can be detrimental it can cause problems all right recharge time is pretty bad but we got slots for days and it doesn't shuffle so I gotta see how this packs in the 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 spells So let's do a test with just like a something. I threw away all my spells. <laughs> That's so many timers. Oh, right. They stack because, duh, because they're all timers. So they just keep stacking the next spell. That's an interesting interesting behavior gonna, I threw away all my like projectiles and stuff upstairs because I wanted to save all these other things I might have to go back so we do this Probably deal decent damage. I would like some add mana. Eh, it's moderate. It's not very good. So I gotta rethink how I want to set this up then. If we already have a double trigger, where did where's my stuff? I just want to see what this would even feel like we hit the chainsaw and then mm, yeah, this is going to be weird with the always cast and that's going to cause problems 
Let me think about this. If we just put the chainsaw on the end, that'll take care of a lot of the problems. And then... The first trigger will be that, and it'll end on the chainsaw. You can see we've sped up. And we can sustain that. Now, let's put another one of these in there. And I know they don't have to go in a specific order, but I like ordering things. Okay. Is that 80... 0.88? Recharge is being dropped down by 0.66. And then another 0.17. So that's almost all the recharge time. I don't like the way this is firing. We bring the chainsaw in sometimes, but not always. So what is actually happening? If I take that off... There we go. There we go. Okay. But what if I do this instead? No. We need another chainsaw to do that. So... Let's check out the statue over here. Now these guys are already trying to get up here. You see that? Hey, you guys want to play? have some target practice? It's still, the damage is not where I want it to be. Um... Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> what a nerd. You know what, I'll go with this machine gun one for now, and before the audio starts getting crusty. I don't really care about these arrows. That's a lot of oil. It's from those lamps? Actually, you know what, I could do one more thing. I could put... I guess I forgot that that's on because I just leave that on all the time. <laughs> but generally, just I don't really like somebody just popping in and just immediately like, do this, do that. Um, if you got ideas or something, that's not like you know, if you ask or something, that's not too big of a deal. But I just I leave that on I, again. I forgot that was even on. But I leave it on because I, I don't want someone just popping in and like, here's everything you need to do on whatever game it is you're playing. Uh, I gotta shift these. I missed one. So in in this case, not too much, and it, it depends on the. Uh, it kind of depends on the person, like, you know, I, I've never seen you before, so if your first message when you came in was just like, you know, exactly, like, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, that's a bit much. Um, if it's somebody that I know, that, that I see all the time, it'd be a little bit different, if that makes sense. I'll leave the energy sphere on here for storage. But no, if you have some tips or something, I don't, I don't, I don't mind. We can leave that here. Now the question or the problem I have at the moment is...
Do I want to keep this holy mountain intact? We already have other... We already have another one intact. And I kind of don't feel like it. If I'm being honest. I mean, we could just make Steve mad. I could... Well, see, that's the problem, though. I want to keep these empty wands so I can flip them around. And we know we have a broken wand. So... I'm probably going to want to take whatever the broken wand gives me. Yeah, let's just make Steve ma or not make Steve. Let's just uh, break the thing. Can we cut through this? With oh, we yeah, we can cut through this because of the damage increase and stuff. Sweet. So, I, I mean, I know we can't edit in here, but it's still like a safe zone now. Got a CEO. Yeah, so, uh, just another thing in the line of, like, the back seating or whatever. Um, this is one of those games where, you know, knowledge is really important and there may be things I don't know about how to build a wand or whatever. So, generally, as long as, like, someone's not being overbearing about it, I do appreciate tips because, again, I might not even know a trick, right? Like, chainsaws are a thing where if you don't know how chainsaws work, it's probably pretty unlikely that you'll just figure it out. I mean, someone had to, right? But it's probably pretty unlikely that someone's going to know the, the tricks of how chainsaws work in this game. So that's the kind of thing where... Um, where it makes sense to get some help or whatever. What's going on, buddy? I think it's it's like community game to an extent, though. Because again, I think it can be taken too much to an extreme where like... You know, you just kind of never do anything for yourself. If that makes sense. Yeah, like, I always, like, I remember back in, like, 2019 when this game was first in early access. And I was, you know, I wasn't winning any runs or anything at that point. But I just remember looking at these crazy runs people were doing. And, oh, he did fly into, I was hoping he would, it was going to dissipate. Oh, well, we'll probably find another one. Um, but I remember looking at all these crazy runs people were doing for one, and then all the secrets. And I was like, how are people figuring out- these secrets are so... obscure. Uh, this is not a terrible wand, except for the shuffle. That's the only thing I don't like about it. What's the recharge on this? Uh, the mana- excuse me, what's my mana? Okay, no, my mana's pretty high on this. So I would still want more mana. See, I always say recharge when I'm I'm actually talking about mana charge. Cause we still haven't seen any ad mana show up yet. So I'm kind of being held up by that. In terms of making something a little different. For the moment, that's a that's the kind of thing that got me killed on my run last night. Um, a little little crack like that that you can kind of worm your way through, and you can't quite see what's on the other side. You know there's an enemy, so like you squeeze through, and then you just pop the enemy, and then oh, turns out there was a propane tank there. And it's like right in your face. I didn't have any explosion. I actually, yeah, no, I, I don't think I had explosion immunity last night. So it was the explosion that almost killed me, and then the freezing vapor. 
I, I think I, I could have survived the freezing vapor, but w I mean, when you're in that situation, it's so hard to make the right move with how fast it all happens. And this is why we hate freezing vapor, right? <laughs> I really need this guy to... I want him to get near that so I can blow it up, and then... Yeah. Alright, so... I want to find the hourglass. Oh, that's gonna suck. I Because I forgot you can't drop spells. Hmm. Yeah, you can't drop spells without Tinker. But we, we want to see if the hourglass is here. Which, it doesn't... Wait, wait, wait. Am I wrong? I thought the shop was always on the right, and then the hourglass can be on either side. Or is it that... Or is it that they're both on the same side with each other, and they can both flip-flop? Because I'm not seeing the shop, unless we went too low. But yeah, uh, what I was getting at is, I can't get any spells from either the shop or the hourglass. Until I go... I'll have to go into the next holy mountain and drop some stuff off. Circle of displacement my way back up here. Ooh. Shuffle, not happy with it. Homing. How, um, that actually raises a good question uh, about chest dropping spells. Actually, first I'll just comment I like to keep open slots usually, but there's a. I've found so many spells. Oh my goodness. I found so many spells on this run that I want to hold on to. It's like, I like that spell. I could do something good with that spell. Like, more so than normal. And it just had me hogging everything. So many dudes. <laughs> um, but no, the thing I was going to ask about is the um, spells from chess. That seems very, very infrequent. And I was just curious if you had any info on, on how often that is. Um, or how related that is to great chests. Are great chests noticeably different than regular ones? Because I'm actually not sure about that. I'm not sure if, if that would relate to the... I mean, I'm sure it relates to the drops. I'm not sure how much. Fuck, it would be a shuffle wand with, like, pretty good stats, though. Dude, I hate shuffle. <laughs> well, we want to we wanna take this... Because... What if I get the, um, no more shuffle perk? Right, that's the question. Um, yeah, about that. We're gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna go heal. Um, I saw we had a buddy hanging out over this way to the left. And I've got a, uh, I've got just the thing for him. Assuming that... Okay, no one else has caused any problems. Hello. I, that's the thing, I don't really know. That's why I was asking. I don't know if I've seen great chests. That's, so, is there... Are they large? Like, is, are they visually distinct? What I know. Thanks, buddy. 229 is a weird number for health. <laughs> How did that happen? Okay, they... 
I, then I don't recall seeing one. I may have seen one before. So my history with the game is I played it a bunch in 2019. And then I didn't play it for a long time. I played it a little bit last year, just like a couple streams last year. And then now I've been playing it a bunch the past uh, week or so. So I don't know when they were added. I don't know when they were added, if they were in the game back in 2019. Because at that point I, I may have seen one back then, I just wouldn't remember. It's been too long. So, this wand is, is pretty alright. The mana charge... It's not really... I, I don't like the, the always cast freeze. Freeze can be really good, but... I don't really want it as an always cast. Yo, this man is still trying to heal me. Thanks, bro. Don't get yourself hurt. <laughs> Got that man hurt. Alright, I'm gonna let that stuff dissipate. I mean, that, that sounds about right. There's a lot of stuff like that on, on this game, where it's like... You play it for a stupid amount of time and, and rarely see something. But that's also what makes it special. You know, when you do see those things, it's like, Oh, wow! Look at that! You know? Feels so much better. That man had a wand. Looks like it might be a sizable one, too. Alright, I'm gonna let that stuff kind of chill out for a moment. Gold is cool, but it's not worth dying over. Alright, we got the Elder- or the- no, that's- I don't know why, I thought that was something else. Um, octagonal bolt bundle and a shit ton of boxes. Shuffles, and it casts two spells. Oh, oops, my bad healer. <laughs> it shuffles and it casts two spells, so I'm not super interested in it. Nor am I super interested in the stuff on it. The octagonal cast could be useful in a case where I have, uh, let's say, a really high capacity wand. I could put that on a trigger and put like um, a horizontal bolt or horizontal. Um, whatever it's called, that modifier. That would be a good way to take advantage of that. Not really in the cards right now. So I still want to be going for the... Um, I, almost said, I was going to say teleport room, it kind of is. Still want to be going for the teleport room. Be careful because of stuff like that. I'm gonna be careful where I'm shooting. There's so many. So many. I love it. You also want to be careful because you could, like, I could shoot that and it blows up and electrifies things. So like, that's a good way to screw your run up. It's a good way to find out just how vulnerable you are to electricity. Bruh, there are so many Heesi in, like, I know it's Heesi based, but I don't really usually see this many in like, one area together. Not even in the bar. We keep getting multiple rooms like that, just crawling with them. 
I see that health. I want it. Um, the only mod I've tried is the uh, the seed one, which I would say pr doesn't really count. <laughs> the one to just let you pick your pick a seed. I would say it doesn't really count. I mean, technically it is, but I don't feel like I am good enough at the game, or I haven't, and I haven't done enough in the game to warrant me using mods. Shit. Killing healers. He still left one alive. Unless he found a way to get himself killed. And there's one over there. I'm not, like... I'm very weird with mods, because... I do like mods in a lot of games, but I, I'm kind of very picky about... Like... It, like, w one of my... One of my favorite games, probably my favorite game, is Factorio. And... I don't really see mods as much of a necessity for that game, but a lot of people, like... that That's all they do, is they play modded. Uh, I mean, there, there's, I know there's got to be some really good stuff for this, but I also just, it's such a good game on its own. Okay, so this one's interesting. A bunch of plasma beam crosses, electric charge. Um, what I like about it is it's got mostly good stats. I like that it's got this, the, um, the reduced recharge on it. We could use that for something. I don't like the spells per cast being two, but you can actually build wraparound with that in mind and still make something good. So I'll try to keep that one in mind. Yeah, I'm generally not much of a fan of those kind of mods though. Cause there's stuff like that for Factorio that, that you know people consider in a similar vein. And it's just not, I don't know, not really my kind of thing. Because I'm like, I already like the game though, the game's already good, I don't feel like it needs that. Damn it. And I, personally, again, because I haven't done everything in the game as is, so I definitely don't want it to be harder. Like, I want to beat the, I want to, like, do everything with, you know, what the game was intended to be. And then if I want to add more at that point, I will. Some Flamoxium. Confuse me up, Noita Daddy. <laughs> want that gold. much more we got to do to get to the um, to the left side I feel like we've been making a lot of progress uh, no don't do it my bad my bad buddy hey hey come on I'm trying to help uh, I'm trying to get you to help me oh oops <laughs> I get very trigger happy to get down here and then I want to try to leave you or not just just stay okay he's not gonna listen I want to try to leave him yeah heal me up bro I don't want him getting involved with all the mess I'm about to be doing. I get himself killed. Well, we got another healer. <laughs> I 
Um, I don't know if it's blocking him or not, but I mean, he's definitely healing me. It might block some of them, but I mean, he's obviously healing me because I had like 70 health earlier. I didn't notice it blocking any, but I, I wasn't really paying attention to be honest, so... Yeah, I have no idea. I think I didn't see that propane tank buried in the snow there. Or that one. <laughs> Little less concerned about propane tanks. Just because of the explosion immunity, but the, the freezing vapor is just brutal. <laughs> so I know, like... Um, no, stay down, buddy. Stay, don't go up there. I know, like, some of the stuff can block, um, like the, the heart mage projectiles. So if you want to use the heart mage to, you know, up your health, which I, I still want to do, but I've never done. So I know that can be blocked and, and make it very difficult. That's almost the kind of thing you want to know ahead of time, like, am I going to want to do this on this run? And then maybe think twice about certain perks. Alright, let's get over here to, back to the side, because um, we just saw... This looks like the shop, or the... Yeah, this is the shop. So the shop does move. I thought the shop was static. Wait. Oh, we can't dig anymore. I was like, is this like Holy Mountain? If we just move the stuff far... I mean, it might actually be that way. If we move the stuff far enough, it becomes free. Oh, whoops. Wrong thing. up there and let's see what we get for free that I can't pick up how about that <laughs> I'm gonna get, uh, dump the rest of that out because I don't really want it and we have Chaos Larpa, Explosive Detonator, Summon Taika Salva, um, okay, Summon Egg, I would like to get Summon Taika Salva because I've yet to use it, a triplicate bolt of all things, we can get a cum ball. <laughs> I still like that we didn't actually need to make the portal. I don't even know if I'm going to use the portal. But I like that we didn't even need to make it because of the ghost wand. Which again also says a lot about that run. That was a recent run because I never... I don't think the last time I was playing this game hardcore, I, that portal didn't exist, I'm pretty sure. Because I, I only did a couple streams of this last year. And that's like all I did after 1.0. Okay, we got the bar. Acid in there. Not the kind of bar I expected. Ah, stupid turret back there. Can't even see him. Let's 
sweet. Um, oh my, I, my bad, I just saw your message. Uh, what was on the ghost wand? Um, it was literally just a portal. <laughs> so, I think I had... Uh, well, that guy might die. No? I think I had a run where, um... I think I had a run where I had the portal and I was trying to figure out where to use it. And that's when I died. So it's literally, it was a, a wand that, it had some issues with it too, I don't remember some issues with its casting that I wasn't a fan of. So it was also just like a dump wand where I just threw the portal on it, just to have something to cast the portal from. But that's why I have the portal here, um, because it, it came with that wand. Alright, let's go in and see what we got. More wands. We got jungle stuff hanging out in here. Allen. That's a lot of teleports. Are you sure, game? Mana charge speed is dog shit. <laughs> Don't like it. See, I like this kind of mana charge speed. What do we have? Capacity 8? So, well, no. We don't need the charge speed, right. We already got the charge speed. Oh, that's that's a rip right there. <laughs> that's terrible luck. I've had some of those runs where I get a really good start and then I just do something stupid and die in the mines. It's like, really? Well, yeah, I think I'm probably going to take that melee immunity. Break like half of the late game enemies. Not half, but break a bunch of jungle enemies, break some of the later game enemies. Yeah, I think I want that melee immunity. So we're now immune to explosions and melee. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good setup. We just need some better um, non-shuffles. Why did I take this again? I don't know. I could have gotten rid of it. Because I don't really care for anything on here. And really, I, I don't think I need anything on here. Um, we're, we're gonna hang on to it for just a moment, though. I want to... Drop these. I'm just going to make a circle of displacement. And I want to maybe clear out another spot here. Is someone climbing in here? I don't know what I just heard. Yeah, I want to make a circle of displacement. We're going to go back up top. I'm not done up there. So I've got one slot. That's not great. We'll leave the portal here because it really does no good anywhere else but the jungle. So I can get the Takasalva if I want, which I've never done. And I forget which spell that is. It's not the worm one, is it? That's something else. It's worth an M, right? Uh, yeah, it's just like Teleportatium. Which means, I know you weren't here for it earlier, but don't be dumb like I was earlier. <laughs> I just like flew into it, my mouse was at the bottom. So I meant to go back up into the coal pits, and I'm like, now I'm in the snowy depths. And I did the same thing I just did there, where I took them off of the, off of the wand. So I had no way to, um, teleport back up. So I had to take the long, I mean, it's not hard to take the, uh, say shortcut, but by the lava lake. It's not hard to do that, but the only reason I had to do any of that is because I, I was dumb. <laughs> I 
I had the perfect setup and everything. He's like, nope. One thing that concerned me about, about Taika Salva is it only has a one cast. So it's definitely got me intrigued. Ha! <laughs> Let me get away from that. Oh, we got some trick kills out of that. Because the propane tanks and stuff. Um, you can tell me what it does. I would actually appreciate it if you don't mind. Because I think the worm one starts with an M. Uh, I think I made that propane tank blow up up there, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know what. It's in the negative zone now. It's gone. Oh, it spawns a. Oh, that's right. That's why it sounded familiar, because I've seen it with the, um, with wand farms. I've seen people do wand farm builds. With, like, infinite spells and stuff. And see, I don't actually have, um... I don't have, like, the, the Greek spells or anything. Like, again, I haven't done a lot of stuff in this game, so that's part of the reason I'm like, uh, it's not... If I'm gonna mod it, now is not the time. I, I want to do all the the vanilla stuff. So I I knew like I had seen the alchemist in the video, and I kind of knew how he worked. Is he going? Oh no! I knew how he worked. I knew he had a thousand health. I had a wand that was dealing pretty good damage, and I thought. And, and I, it was a bit of a rapid wand, but it was dealing good damage. I had Ambrosia. I set up a battlefield. I got, like, a pit of Ambrosia. Nope. <laughs> it was a it was a pretty good run, too. It was, like, my beefiest, like, exploration-type run that I'd ever done. This was just, like, last week. Um, but it was, like, one of my better runs, one of my longer runs, just in terms of checking things out and, and, and trying to unlock stuff, trying to find stuff. So I felt really bad about the way I lost that run, because it was super preventable. And it's like, I, I, I should have known better, I should have known not to try Alchemist right away. Just couldn't resist it. I wanted those Greek spells. But again, I, I talk about this a lot. This is why I like, um... Donker Slam's videos. Because... He did the Sun Quest... On a new file... Just to flex on people. <laughs> just to flex on every- no, but for real. He did it on a new file just to be like, yeah, you don't need to unlock anything to do it. Like... I'm gonna prove it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on a brand new file. And I actually, like, I, I like that, because a lot of people do get in the mindset that, oh, you just need to get all these crazy unlocks to be able to do things. Like, no, you don't. It takes skill, there's a little bit of luck, and a lot of knowledge. You know, like, when I see chainsaws and shit coming up, like, I know what to do with them now. I think back, I don't know if they've always been the same, but back in the day, um, in like, you know, alpha stages or whatever, I didn't know shit about the chainsaws. And, you know, every once in a while I would dig through soft material with them, and that, if I had some, and that was it. It's like, this game relies a lot more on knowledge. And this is what you said earlier, Sluggerath, is, um, this game can be very much a community game because of that knowledge. There's so much knowledge associated with this game that is very, um... It's very difficult for one person to just naturally figure all of it out. Not that it's not possible, but like... Just, I mean, the level of... 
information, <laughs> the amount of information you have to have to do the secrets in this game is off the charts. It's crazy. I gotta be careful doing that even with explosion immunity because they can have the propane tanks packed in the snow there. Um, but yeah, the, just the amount of knowledge that you can really apply in this game is, is on another level. There's not much like it. Oh, right. Flamoxium's fallen down. There we go. My man is chilling. Um, so yeah, anyway, just back on a little rant. Um, when it comes to a, a lot of people underestimate that knowledge, and so like a new player that may be inclined to say like, oh, you just have to have all this pre-existing knowledge to beat the game. It's like, no. Or not knowledge, um, pre like spells and unlocks and stuff, I mean. And it's like, no, the knowledge is more important than the spells and stuff because like spark bolts? You could very easily beat the game with like spark bolts and you could beat a lot of the extra content like a lot of the mini bosses and stuff with spark bolts if you know how to set them up. If you know how criticals stack, if you know, um, like the way criticals stack is important. Um, there's something else I was going to say. Oh, triggers. If you know how triggers work and stuff. You can get some mean damage out of spark bolts. And that's a little weird even for me to say because back when I was, you know, first playing this game, that was back when every run started with a spark bolt and a bomb wand, and a, and a thing of water. That was before they even put any variety. And so Spark Bolt to me is just like the the generic spell, but it's also like, it can be really good. I mean, it comes with built-in criticals. <laughs> I mean, that's that's already excellent. Because you can, you can stack those criticals and just, you can do some busted stuff, man. And th so this is why earlier in the run, I don't know if you were here for that, but earlier in the run I passed up a critical one in favor of the shield, and I sat there for like a minute just juggling the two. What's going on, Binary? It's good to see you here again. Um, let's see. It's a good charge, but I mean, I'm not... I'm not gonna take a... a First of all, it's kind of shitty. I mean, it's... It's kind of shitty because of the uh, two cast, but it's like an, an odd capacity too, which makes it maybe a little harder to plan for. Yeah, um... So, Slug, what's up with the, uh, with the return spell? I haven't really experimented much with it, so what... What, um... Pointers or whatever do you have in regard to the uh, return spell? See, this one, this one sucks because I don't have a really effective way to dig down there. Wait, that's doing. Does a uh, pheromone do some interesting stuff with steel as well? Is it like concentrated mana? No. Oh, that oh, that's brittle glass. We were breaking the brittle glass. Okay. Never mind. Yo, that's just kind of eating the way through there. Oh, so you just hop in, drop the wand, you'll pop right back. You got just enough time to drop the wand. Okay. See, that is useful. So, uh, speaking of that, though, I was just thinking about it. Um, this is the part I hate. But... I want to go all the way back up to the fungal caverns. Because I left a broken wand. And you know exactly what I'm... You know exactly why I want to do that. And what was this, this big one? Yeah, the only reason I really passed it up... Homing is kind of alright. I mean, I'll pick it up. 
homing can be pretty good, I, I should say. It's, I don't like short range, though. Homing can be pretty good, but it can also kind of gimp you a little bit. You can make better builds without homing. Um, oh, I just realized something, though. We can't... We can't tinker with wands up there. Do we want to... Yeah, mana's a thing too. I mean, we have hella mana recharge on this wand. We could probably fit homing. I think I'm just gonna anger Steve. I really don't feel like... Because right now... I would... Uh, how many black holes do I have? I have a lot. We could probably... Okay. We could maybe dig around this. Keep Steve off my ass for a little bit. Oh yeah, this wand sucks. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, homing takes a lot of mana though, but if you got the good recharge, or if you got a good a a couple ab manas, you got stacked up, it's pretty worth it. Well, not worth it, it, it can be. I think my biggest problem with homing is it just takes up a slot. You could have put something else there. Okay, th yeah, this was not the best idea, was it? Because <laughs> we don't have that many more. Although you don't have to dig too high to get around Holy Mountain. But be careful. Yeah, we're almost out. Oh, I was about to say, did we run out? No, we got like two more? Oh no, we got uh, four more. Okay. Um, by the way, fun, fun tip. This, uh, this is a very important tip if you want to be really good at this game. This is the best advice I have to offer. Uh... If you have a wand with like four black holes on it and a um, a giga black hole and then you beat the last boss and you decide you want to dig around just to explore a little bit because you've never really done much exploration after beating the last boss um, don't don't kill yourself <laughs> by miscounting when the giga black hole is gonna show up Don't do that. <laughs> because it, it it was pretty funny. It just like because if you've used Giga Black Hole, you know what it does. It basically it'll like rip out the um, the walls and stuff from around where you're digging, and all of that'll get um, it'll like do physics damage and stuff. It'll smush you if you're not careful. So what I needed to do was like cast it leave some distance and back off um, but nope I was right up in there got smushed I th I think it was gonna be my third victory it's my, my old story on the last boss with this game that I like to tell was back in alpha I beat the last boss one time this is not why I stopped playing, by the way. Um, but I... I wasn't good at wand tinkering back then. I didn't mess with it much. So my runs relied a lot more on luck than they should have. And I beat the last boss one time. I had, like, a, a really good run. And then... I did... I don't remember exactly what it was, but I did something stupid to get myself caught on fire. Like, after beating the last boss. Like, it, it had to involve the lava, I'm sure, but... I don't know what I did anymore. So I got myself on fire after the last boss and died. And that was very, very disappointing. I did a lot more runs after that, but I never actually ended up uh, beating him again back in those days. And then it just, you know, I just moved on to another game after that. Um, what's happening? Oh, I was out of jetpack. Okay. 
That's around the time that I got my, um... Is it? Hang on. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's right when I got my, um... My Valve Index, as well. So I definitely wanted to spend a lot of time with, uh... I wanted to spend a lot of time with that. I, uh, I am going back to Fungal, yeah. I was kind of working my way through here to see what I- if I have missed anything I care about. You know, I could get that spell refresher... ...while we're here. I can leave the next spell refresher down lower so it's less backtracking. Yeah, for me to get back to Fungal from here, because I don't have any way to get through the Holy Mountain. I mean, I could anger Steve, but I'm going to hold off on angering him right now if I can. You are still friendly from earlier, aren't you? I'm just going to hold off on angering Steve. I'm not worried about beating him with this wand. Big Dick Steve, probably. I would want a better wand for that. Regular Little Dick Steve. Nah, he wouldn't be a problem. Let's see, we would have to go through... W would he spawn in the jungle one since I've already been in there? I don't know. But we would then have temple... Or we'd have art... Yeah, no, we'd have the vault and the temple of the art. So that would actually be... Just enough we could make it through without a big dick Steve showing up, I think. So, I'm just going back this way, and we're gonna head back down. I heard that orb. I think I did. Volume's pretty quiet on my end. Oh, do I have light on this still? I do. Uh, while we're up here, let's go to... I'm not, I'm not gonna call it the tree. Let's go to the cave. So I always call it the tree because it's like right under the tree. And back in the day, I used to always... My, my favorite way to get to the heart and stuff over here was actually... Um, by digging through the tree, basically. Because it was just a really safe and easy way to get there. Um, I mean, best answer is just whatever I whatever I can. You know, if I feel like I have some really really good setup that um that I want to you know try something like the alchemist, then I would. But, otherwise, we just kind of run through and beat the game, see what happens. I still want to know why that fungus was in here. There's like a mushroom in here. I don't think I've ever seen that before in this biome. Because I was saying, like, we could totally do a fungal shift. I was considering it, like, right here in the first biome, like... Start the game out with the fungal shift. Don't even have to get to the, uh, to the cavern. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one myself. Interesting thing to find here. Is now you gotta, and you know what? With that pouch over there, I could totally um, bag that up, you know, for actual fungal shifts. That didn't work very well.
It's got a pretty good path to drain, so I'm happy with that. Let's climb up here. Let's see if we get a route. Um, I have a question about the... I forget what it's called, the Uko... Uko Skivi, yeah. Um, does that make you immune to electricity while wielding it? Do you know? Because I, I feel like back in the day it didn't, but I think they've up... Okay, I feel like they've updated things. Because I feel like back in the day that stone killed me more than once. Yeah, and that's why I was asking, because I, I got the fire one sometime last week, and I was like, whoa, it made me immune to fire. Let's actually check up here real quick. I don't think they'll find anything. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> That's gonna blow up eventually. Okay, it's pretty safe. The lifetime of the projectile matters a lot for this. Uh, we don't want to get that... Ah, it's annoying. We don't want to get that one yet. Because... Um, that's the one that's going to heal me. I want to get the health up first. And then heal. So the health up is probably going to be down here. How lazy will I be? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I didn't know they would do that. They got sucked into the black hole. But yeah, I, I'm sure... What I remember back in the day was that that electric stone would... I mean, I might be wrong, but I didn't think it used to make you immune. I feel like they've changed that. And, and again, we're talking about 2019 until, like, now we're talking like December of 2019 so a lot has changed for sure all right let's go find that broken wand stop clown assing around I was hoping we might be able to, without black holes. Thinking about which wand I would drop, probably the one with the homing on it. We've got enough double casts already. So we'll take this down all the way to the Heesey base. When we get it, we'll take it all the way to the Heesey base, repair it, see what happens. See if it puts me in big dick mode or little dick mode. I mean, big dick mode and little dick mode is a huge difference for me. We're talking about a whole centimeter. I think it's up. Take the other way around. Too many variables there that I don't like. Son of a bitch. Alright, we got us another broken wand. Let us fungal shift. No. Um. Let us get this ambrosia. That's a better thing to have than the uh, empty flask. It's the flask we had for the 
teleportatium. I'm really bad at using Ambrosia, though. I won't even think about it. And then I'll, I'll die or something. It's like, oh, I could have used Ambrosia. It's so much fungus. It's so much fungus. I'm just, I'm waiting on a run where I get like a really good, um... Uh... What am I trying to say? Uh, a really good flask of something that you can't normally put in a flask. I'm waiting on a, on a run like that, and then I want to try to fungal shift the flask to see what happens. But I don't really get those very often. Okay, now here I do need to do a circle of displacement, because this is the one I've been using to do so many edits. I want to make sure I keep it alive. So we either anger Steve or use a circle of displacement. With these. Ooh, I want to shoot the acid ball. Have I shot it before? Oh, it's so hard to find spells in here. Oh, I have shot it. Okay. Then I'm not going to do it. For obvious reasons. And it does shuffle, so... Let's see what happens. I might get cocked by it. This one is interesting. Two-way fireball thrower. Quantum split was freaky. I've tried that. I was a little disturbed by it. Let's just, um... Plasma Beam Cross can be pretty deadly, yeah. Alright, let's... Okay, good. Oh, too far over. The reason why I was so worried about it is because it... It could have been cast in a way that... Um, that it would be like right in front of me, I'd be touching it right when it casts, so then I wouldn't have a chance to mess with my wand. And I, I want to be able to mess with my wand. Oops. Rip pheromone. What the fuck? He had pheromone on him. Why? He had hearts on his head and stuff. That man still shot me. Oh, rude self. About to say I recognize that. I am so glad I didn't actually get into that teleportadium. Oops. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes this way. Gotta sign Uko for a second. Hey, we got another hand. As if I care. Alright. I guess. Go down into Hisi base. Or fight a hand, bro. Alrighty. I thought that was lightning for a second. So we already made... Yeah, we already wrecked this temple. So I don't really care.
Let's just get down to the anvil and see what we get. Anything to make this place safer over the long run, in case I come back. Oh, and to go back on that question from earlier, though, about, you know, what I'm planning on doing. Again, I haven't done a lot of stuff. And part of what I'm doing is getting more consistent. And I, I am really getting a lot more consistent already at getting better runs. So that's a big part of it for me, is just getting more consistent runs. And that's going to help me push for the, uh, for the, you know, bosses and the crazy stuff like the sun quests and all that. Um, so even just getting a run like this, which is, you know, a decent setup, at least this is the kind of run where it's fairly consistent that you're going to be able to get to the end. We got an ab mana. Wow. And it's pretty, it's pretty good. In terms of, like, everything, yeah. Okay. See, this is, what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. Like, there's a lot of pieces in place here, so this is not a terrible run. Um, so I want to get more consistent, and, you know, eventually that's going to be what pushes me into... And, and just learn some of the mechanics more, like with wand crafting, stuff that I never really messed with that much. Learn that stuff more, so I could do all the, the cool stuff. We already looked at these, we already got the perk, right? Yeah. So... This thing has an extra slot. We got a triple spell hiding in there, too. What are the, um... What are the times on that? Recharge time of point thirty two. So we need to put a recharge in there. Um, at least one. I think we could do this and have the same setup, but much more effective. And we have some room to work with now. So we have the add mana. Oh, thank you for, uh, yeah, I forgot all about that. Good call. I was excited about that and then I got distracted and forgot about it. <laughs> hey, that happens. It happens, right? I can't test damage, but... Dude, this is one of those wands now. I'm not moving. <laughs> it's one of those wands. Who needs a jetpack, right? Who needs a jetpack when you can just hold down the fire button? <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with that wand change up. And then it gives us an extra slot. I'm gonna look into the Takasalva. Use is remaining one, but I guess you could use a spell refresher for that. If I really wanted to. I, I'm, I'm assuming you can, I don't know. Um, what else would I want to put on here? Shit. You know, what I, you know what I would want? Is like a spark bolt or something. Like another... I mean, we could do this. Okay, so we do lose mana now, but let's see how much it matters. It matters not much. Honestly, like... Does that really matter very much? It's not full machine gun mode, but that's still very consistent. I freaked out for a second because I thought that was the CEO or whoever was trying to climb up here. <laughs> Get in here, nerd. Oh, that's just a grenade guy, isn't it? Alright, yeah, let's look up the Taika Salva. Um, let's put that somewhere and give it a try. Oh, oops. <laughs> I, I wanted to just drop it, like, right below me, but this... I, move, get, get there, yeah, there. Now I can actually see things. 
Um, Two-way fireball thrower. So I was also maybe interested in using this... Um, what is that that it always casts? I don't recognize that. I want to make sure it's not going to do some weird stuff. Floating arc? I don't care. That's fine. Okay. Let's put Taika Salva on there. And it actually says, yeah, summons a possessed wand to aid you. So then... It, like, runs out of... It, like, runs out of juice and then falls down, or... What do we do with it? What do we do with the possessed wand? It's a... Because isn't it ghost wielding it? Like, um... Like the pheromone money trick? Is that a... Like the pheromone empty wand trick? It's got electricity on it. Which means I don't want to be anywhere near the water. I would love to see him touch the water, though. Oh! My bad. Hold on. Sometimes your brain just stops working. But... Now we have two. Do I want to do anything with this? Let's see... Two per cast. This... This one just rapid fires these now. Yeah, until it can't. We might need, like, uh... I don't have my tablet. So, yeah, so I think these are ghosts. These are ghost ones. I don't have my tablet. We need something to do physics damage. Which is not the hardest thing to come across. I can do a teleport bolt as an easy way to get out of here. Right? We'll lose access to one wand. That's an interesting teleport bolt. Now that I think about it. Ooh, that's funky. Mmm, they're following... kind of. I think... They're like delayed. Let's let's wait here for a second. Yeah, they've caught up. They're definitely still trying to follow. Come on, guys. That's a funky way to teleport. Makes me a little uncomfortable. What do we have here? That's three of those. You guys gonna do anything? Do they not consider the spiders hostile enough? Spiders are weird, because they're kind of not really hostile. They they don't really seem to do much. Also, did that one die or did what it just fucked off? My bad, healer. I'm not going after you, but... What the hell is happening? That's what the wand does. Oh, you get, you get away from me with that. Uh-uh. Get away. You get away from me with that. I won't trust it. Summoned a shield, and it's got like a... Uh, has a big worm been through there? Because I'd love the health. I don't know what that's about. So one thing we could do with the Ambrosia is if I see a Heart Mage, I could try the Heart Mage trick. Uh, okay, I do, but this stupid wand is going to be a problem, isn't it? Oh yeah, they can't even hurt me because of melee. Does the dragon... Does it do melee? 
I mean, I think I'd probably be comfortable killing the dragon with this wand anyway. What the hell? I don't think killing a dragon with this wand would be the most difficult thing ever. Runestone of Edges. What if I throw that? Yeah, it worked. Uh, uh, I don't want to be near that. I don't know what it does. <laughs> Alright, safe. Alright. Okay, so it makes a shit ton of shields. Magic guard. It's really all it does. It shuffles. It's not that good. I don't know what happened to the other wand. Yeah, I have no idea what happened to that other wand. Yeah, but I, I mean, I think it fell. That's what I mean. I don't know where it's at. So it's somewhere. Oh, crap, I hate the poison. <laughs> it may have crushed itself. That's actually pretty funny if it did. Um, worm pheromone. I mean, if there is a big worm, I wouldn't mind that for a heart. Wouldn't mind bringing them up here. More ambrosia, I like that. Again, I would like to see if I can make the heart trick happen because I've never done it. I think that would be fun. Ambrosia makes that much safer. That'd be a hell of a way to lose the run, right? <laughs> Died while doing the heart trick. Heart mage trick. I gotta be a little less trigger happy sometimes. I, I don't have... I don't have a good digging one that's not black holes, which bothers me. This guy will dig for me, though. Look at that. Hey, buddy, come on. That doesn't dig for shit. It digs through some. I'm... I'll wait. I got all night. Come on, buddy. Slime comes in clutch. Yeah, we definitely got a worm over here. So we need to find the heart mage. I do too, actually. I think they're really unique, really interesting enemies. It, but it's weird because they kind of don't really fight you much. Like, they loosely come toward you, but they kind of ignore you. Very interesting enemies. Yeah, so we need to find a heart and a heart mage. We need them hopefully near-ish to each other. But we can do some cheese. We could get the, um... We could get the teleport wand. We could drop it for the heart mage. And then it'll follow us. The teleport wand doesn't have any damage on it. Oh, it does. Never mind. It has the always cast. So he could hurt us with that. That's not a very safe way to do it then. Is that gold? Bone dust. There's the wand from earlier. That's mine. And yeah, you're right, Earthquake. Um, it casts 
four spells at a time removes explosion but it just spammed a bunch of earthquakes um okay pretty shitty pretty shitty one not my cup of tea oh uh, let's see knockback it's mediocre I hate those guys that, that just drop the poison there. Poison sucks. Okay, I really like to get some of this gold. Oh, someone's got a wand. Unstable crystals. He almost ran out. No, he's still got six of each. Never mind. All right. What do we have over this way? Again, we're looking for hearts. And then I want to try to just like know where the heart was at and get a heart mage. Or. Yeah, I mean, it's a little. It's a little hard to set up, I guess. If you don't have the right kind of teleport wand. My teleport wand, given that it has that spark bolt, means that if I gave it to the mage, he would also be hitting me with he'd be hitting me with the spark bolt and then teleporting. Not a, a very safe way to get him to follow me. If you have a regular teleport wand. He'll just follow you, and it's not a big deal. Yo, I hate how long the screen stays red. Because it makes me feel like something really bad happened, but I didn't really lose much health. I should really use the hotkey more to go specifically to my water flask, but I don't know. I don't like doing that. <laughs> uh, pollen. It's not got enough slots. Whatever. Not impressed by that one. I don't know where Tusk has been at today. I'm, I'm thinking about him right now because every single time he comments on this on this music in the jungle. It is a bop. I would... I'd like to swap that pheromone out. But I don't want to... Like, get rid of mine yet. Because then if we pop that other one, like, problems might happen. Alright, cool. Let's drop this pheromone. Pick up this new one. That's actually not a bad idea. I'm a, a creature of habit, and because you know you start out with the water flask as the first thing, it's just ingrained in me that that's where it should always be, no matter what. That's not a bad idea. That's really easy. I might start trying that out. I'm sure it'll get me killed once or twice. Oh, come on. I'm sure it'll get like get me killed or, or like really hurt at least once. Because I'll, I'll, again, of habit, I'll just be like, you know, trying to find it in its normal spot. Okay, so we have a heart. I need a heart mage, because I definitely want to try this. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll probably try that. I'll put it there at the start of a run. But then just a, out of habit, like, I know I'm going to be like, oh, I got to go to that slot. I have it mapped to one of my mouse buttons as well to go right to that slot, but I don't really like using the thumb buttons that much, if I'm being honest. So then it's like, what's the point? <laughs> like, just on my thumb button, I can go between both of them like that. Let me out. <laughs> yeah, they do. Uh, we saw one earlier, but I don't know if he's still alive. It was actually near the entrance. Um, I think that other wand that that summoned wand I think was still alive and I was like let me not go near the heart mage until that wand is no longer a concern so I was worried about that um not impressed so I think they were like up here And who knows if they've wandered around since then. Uh, do they actually... Do they actually hurt you with the projectile, or does it do nothing but lower your max health? Like, if I just try to coax him to follow me, I don't know if he'll be hurting me. If he gets a couple rogue hits off. So, I'm trying to retrace my steps. I feel like it was around here where we saw him. This is where that one died, right? Yeah. And it was pretty near the air. Actually, no, 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 wait. It might have been later. So, I mean, there's two options as well that he could have already got himself killed. I, I mean, I could have accidentally killed him then and not even realized it. They do small damage, okay. Because, I mean, I had the Ambrosia. But I would rather save that for the trick itself. And again, I think I mentioned it, but I've never done the trick before. That's part of why I'd like to try it. Oh, he does seven? Yeah, it's not too bad. Ugh. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, he might have fucked off, or he might have died. No idea. So we might be able to find another one. Just have to keep searching. Downside is I have no idea where the heart went now. I mean, I have a rough idea, but... Yeah, I hear have a rough idea. No. What's going on in there? Ah, things that can't hurt me. But that can, and it did. Oh, oops. No. See, this is why I, I probably should just go ahead and try moving that now. Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. I know what that... That's why it has uh, edges in the name, right? Got it. <laughs> I was kind of concerned about trying to do anything with that without knowing what it does. Oh, that's fun. Hey. Thank you, base shield.
And at this rate, I'm thinking I might just go for... I might just get the health when I find it again. Which I don't think we're far from. I think it's actually pretty close to this. No! Who made Steve mad? I bet it was a worm. Fucking worms. Don't like them. I think we can beat Steve with this wand. I'm not super concerned about it. Rather not deal too much with Big Dick Steve, though. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate when you chase gold and just... You just end up going all over the place. Can I get some blood on me? Sort of. Just trying to get rid of that slime. Oh shit, there he is. does raise a slight problem. So we have the, uh, I keep wanting to say art, but uh, the vault and then the art. So that'll be three Steve kills. So we'll be able... Oof. Maybe I should have left him. <laughs> I don't know, I've killed Big Dick Steve before. Yeah, I'm just gonna go after the health at this point. We know it's here somewhere, so I'm gonna go find it. And maybe just go ahead and... There it is. Let's go ahead and uh, make my way to the vault. I could circle displacement my way back up here, though. And, f and maybe fight the dragon, because it'll give us a wand. Dragon's not super tough. I've got that teleport wand. Oh, that... Ooh, that's funky. Because it has to hit something. It's a terrible teleport wand. Is that? That's the earthquake one, yeah. Nah, I don't care that much. We get a. We get a spawn. Last couple times I've been through here, my wands were too strong, and they would kill the worm egg things there before a worm could spawn. I love that feeling. <laughs> Someone never tried. Can you kick these statues? No. Hello, worm. Are you the one that made Steve mad? Is it you that I have to blame? It's a small wand, yeah. That is a thing I, I think I didn't know for a long time. Probably a lot of other people don't really know it. The wand appearances are related to what the wands do. 
So, size of the one generally is related to, like, how many slots it has. Um, the number of points on it, which in this case, it actually is true. There's two points on it, and it fires um, two spells. Um, another thing is, if the wand has a gem on it, like in the center, that gem there, there's a gem there in the center, there's a gem there, there's a gem there. Um, but look at this one, does not have a gem, and it's a shuffle. So if it has a gem, it's a no shuffle. If it uh, does not have a gem, it is a shuffle wand. So there's another example there. Um, I think there's some other things related to like color or something that I'm not, I'm not sure what they are. I'm gonna take this for the ping pong path because that's actually really good. There's some stuff you could do with that, especially with the uh, luminous drills. So yeah, there are certain things you can just tell by looking at a wand initially, which I'm really bad at looking. Oh, apparently I'm in the dragon cave. Uh, I don't know if I want to do it. I mean, we're here, but I don't know if I want to do it. Risky, right? YOLO. Ah, yeah, no, nah, that wasn't risky at all. Weak ass. Okay, what do we have? We have another damage plus. I want that. Like, I really want that. Holy shit, that mana max. Wow, I just looked at that. Charge speed is trash. But, holy shit, that mana max. It's got the lightning thrower. That is terrifying. I've never used that. That sounds like instant death if you don't have uh, electric immunity. Like, that seems way too risky. Um, I am gonna get rid of this one with the teleport bolt. I don't use teleport wands too much. I know they're, like, super popular. Um, if I want to get it, I can come back up here, but I want to take this damage plus down with me. Um, yeah, I want to take this damage plus down with me. And then I get, I'll, I'll like get rid of the light. I don't care. We don't need the light. And what do we have here? Saw blade orbit. That one's a little funky. Because it actually, it literally makes saw blades orbit your um, projectile. So it becomes pretty dangerous. Yeah, the dragon's not too bad. If you got a wand like this, I think he's pretty easy. Just Gatling gun him to death before he can even get to you. Alright, now let's for real go down to the vault. We got Steve's to worry about. He's not the biggest concern ever. So there is a trick for Steve, by the way. I've never killed him like this, but get back here. And then when he gets up to you, you just do that. He won't shoot at you when you're behind the thing. I think I saw some interesting stuff there. I mean, you can also just kill Steve like that. I have a projectile eater, which is interesting. Kills to mana. More love, spontaneous generation, vomit. <laughs> uh, I don't care for any of those. I'm being honest. Item radar, unlimited spells, extra health, strong levitation. Extra health would be nice after. Um, 
after getting like doing the uh, heart mage trick. I don't think I've noticed it not generate, but I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I don't think I've noticed that. I've definitely killed the statue before. I've like demolished it. I'm not super sold on any of these. Levitation's okay, but uh, YOLO. Faster projectiles could be good. Boomerang spells. Um, that's really useful if you want the healing, if you have a healing bolt. The faster projectile, we have a digging bolt. Boomerang spells has, oh. That's blood to power, isn't it? Bloodlust. Yeah. It's 33 damage. You don't want boomerang spells with that. <laughs> That's for damn sure. So, no shuffle. Decent-ish stats. Healing ball damage? I didn't know that. If you... If you do that... Hmm. I rarely get healing bolts, so I don't have a lot of experience with, you know, working with them. Oh, 11 slots, 161 mana charge. What do we have here? 261. See, our mana charge is actually a bit of a problem, though. Especially if we put two of these damage plus on there. We're gonna be doing some pretty beefy damage. Oh, yeah. See that? So, we don't get the best sustain there at the end. That's my only problem. We need another add mana. Well, so the good thing is, I mean, just, just to kind of think on this out loud or just describe. The good thing about boomerang spells, it's also um, a bit of an extra protection radius. And with like a... A thing like this, you kind of hold that extra bit of protection in front of you as they, as they like, come back. If that makes sense. It, like, it has its uses. For sure. As goofy as it is, I'm gonna keep light on me. Um, I don't care about magic missile. So, Ping Pong Path and Luminous Drill is interesting. Check this out. Let's put a Luminous Drill on here. And we get this, right? Put a Ping Pong Path on it. And we get that! We get long range Luminous Drills. Now, another fun thing you can do... You can extend Luminous Drills. I could use Luminous Drill with Timer. And so that's gonna make an extra long PP, right? So, because the second Luminous Drill comes out of the first one. So you can also modify... I, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> this one charge is too slow. But... You could do some weird, funky stuff with Luminous Drills, and they actually do a lot of damage. It says 10, but... I think they do, like, piercing damage that just does multiple hits per tick, basically. So they're pretty busted. Uh, if you use, you can use them as, like, with that, like, long-range Luminous Drill trick. That's why I said Ping Pong Path is good. With that, like, long-range Luminous Drill, you can do some monster damage. See, if we had one more chainsaw, I think I could rope in add mana twice with with spell wrapping. We'd have to get rid of a damage plus or something. Or I'd just get rid of the spark bolt with trigger and I would just do one spark bolt. Um, the only difference, we would put a chainsaw in the front, we'd scoot everything over to the right by one, we'd lose the trigger. And then, 
Um, yeah, we spell wrapping. Hmm. Um, Bloodlust is over here, right? Uh, its mana charge is like a hundred lower than what I have right now, so that's a bit of a problem. Unless we get another add mana. Uh, I gotta think about the uh, boomerang spells. And I need to take a, a quick bathroom break, like blow my nose and stuff too, so give me like uh, two, three minutes, and I will be right back and make a decision on this. Right, back up in here, and yeah, I, I think you're probably right about the uh, about the black holes. Um, I know putting the faster projectile spell, I know that makes them go further, um, so I don't see why it wouldn't work for the perk. I am leaning, I actually am leaning towards the boomerang spells. Extra speed, extra damage. I I, re I do like the really long range. That that's the only thing. I I do like really long range. Feels nice. But why not? Spells deal more damage when you're low. Hmm. Vampirism's mid tier. Have I taken that uh, boomerang spells? Uh, what's it look like again? Almost looks like a propane tank. That's what I thought it was at first. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing it. That's even more motivation to take it. Let's get a baseline. Um. <laughs> I was getting like 978 on the full burst. Eight, eh, 961, okay. Boomerang spells. That's not terrible range. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Big beefy damage in the thousands. See, this is the kind of thing I feel like I, I know the alchemist reflection and all that. But that's the kind of thing I feel like, I don't care if it's a Gatling gun, like, you can get more than one hit on him when his shield's down. Put some Ambrosia on, and, and like, I feel like that should be able to kill something like the Alchemist. Now, <laughs> even when I can't fully sustain it, the, the, the kickback is so strong that it just... I'm flying. Oh, it is good. Let me get a feel for the range. Okay, it's quite a bit lower, but I mean, I can work with it. I can get used to it. Um, Steve is already mad. 
I know I haven't healed yet, by the way. We could just dig through here, yeah. Oh! Oh, right. <laughs> so black holes are kind of busted now. That's okay. We don't need them too much. Combine it with a projectile repulsion field. That could be interesting. That could be pretty busted. We need an ab mana. That's what I want. I really like how the vault is just like Heesey Base at the start. I mean, in a lot of ways, the whole thing is similar to Heesey Base. I'm trying to take this first part a little slow as I get used to the reduced range. Dude, that's the one thing I have is this maggot I wouldn't be as concerned about. He has hella long range, bro, really? He has hella long range, so I gotta get used to just how I wanna approach this with the reduced range. Kinda of worried about that. It almost, almost caused me a bit of pain, but we're good. <laughs> that man just blow himself up. What a loser. I'll give it a try. What I'll probably do though is I'll mix up which way I need to scroll, and I do that a lot anyway. I scroll the wrong way sometimes. Hopefully I'll get used to your strategy, though. I do really like the idea of that trick. So, you, basically, you just, like, touch things and they die. <laughs> oh, that guy's having a bad day. I want to do a melee build sometime. They look fun. Oh, see? I'm used to the old way. That's gonna take time to get used to, and there's really no other way about it. <laughs> I like this damage, though. It's a huge multiplier. Come here, Octopus Bro. I don't usually see worms down here much. Feels odd seeing a worm right there. In fact, I, there could be ghost worms in the, the art, right? But I don't really ever see those either. Oops. Oh no! It's tele I thought it was concentrated mana at first. Okay, we're good. We only got one teleport. Don't die. Yeah, I got a little dicey. We're good though. We are good. I've seen worse. Is this a flat or is this? No, I don't know. It's an uko. That's not my friend. You know what sucks? How much? I didn't leave any slots open. So what if I found like an ab mana here? I'd have to come back for it. And that's freezing vapor. Let's let that do its thing. Good God. The extra kickback is brutal. I'm trying to get away from that in case it decides to explode. 
Whoa. Can you stop that, buddy? I mean, it's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close to 5x. Because I was dealing just under a thousand, and we saw me deal about 5,000. I mean, there's, like, potential criticals and stuff going on, too, which just... Okay, well, there's other things as, as well. I don't know how that damage multiplication factors in with the, um... I've got two damage pluses on there, and then we've got the critical plus. Oh, he booked it. Oh, he's booking it so fast. He's scared. Okay, so I beat the last boss the other day with a wand like this. That's not fun. Um, it was a wand with insane kickback, kind of like this. And... The problem is the lava. Lava's very scary. <laughs> you have to, um, I adapted pretty quick, but it almost got me killed. But you have to be able to adapt pretty quickly. Um, because it's like, oh shit, I fired my wand and it just knocked me into the lava. There goes half of my health. Yeah, I don't like that. These high, high kickback wands are brutal. I used to take... Glass Cannon used to be my favorite perk, by the way. Um, back in, like, alpha days, that was... Like, if I saw Glass Cannon, I was taking it. Every time. Easy. Super dangerous, though. I've done glass cannon nukes before. <laughs> Super fun. Oh yeah, so, um, one thing is, there's like, just back on the damage topic for a second, because I just looked back at the chat and saw that again. There's like weird ways that, that criticals and, and damage and stuff stacks. And that... That could play a factor as well. I had to look more into it to see if maybe that is playing a factor. Um... I think I've taken one of those before, but I haven't done the synergy. Um... I, I have seen the synergy. Um, let's see, do we have an eggplant showing up here? There's the eggplant. I don't know where, um... I don't see Iron Stomach. It's... It's so hard to look in. I, I wish there was a, a filter in here. You know, where you could type in what you're looking for and it would, like, highlight it or something. Or could make it, like, pop out or something. Um... I don't see it. But no, I, I mean, I know... I know and understand the synergy. Because then Iron Stomach removes a lot of the penalties for, like, eating stuff. Um... For eating bad stuff, and... I think... So, the trick I saw with it, which was really interesting... They had a specific seed, and they were like, check this seed... Um... And basically, you go in, and you get... Three perks in your starting Holy Mountain. You get three perks. You get, um... Uh... Perk Lottery. You take that. And then you take... Um... Iron Stomach. And then you take... Eat Your Vegetables. But you, you do something else, too. Um... Before you actually... Uh, get eat your vegetables, you go drink up all the water and stuff and get like a thousand percent fullness. Because when you get eat your vegetables, 
it actually removes, um, like, you don't get the same, uh, unlimited cap, at least that was back whenever that video was made, I assume they kept it that way. Um, Eat Your Vegetables did put a cap on how much you could eat, so it doesn't synergize quite as well. So all they did was they just ate up a shit ton of stuff, got like a thousand percent before they picked up Eat Your Vegetables, since they were in the same perk room, and perk lottery was coming through like a baller. I think it was like a, I think it was a Fury Forge video. And it's like, here's the seed, go have fun. 6,000%. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, shit! I didn't see that until it was like, a little bit too late. I hate that thing. Alright, let's just go in here. Steve wants to come play, right? No, I knew exactly what you were about to say. I've done that. Healing, huh? Healing, huh? <laughs> now, now, hold on a second. Hold up. I need to get that on my soundboard. Yeah, we got a big dick Steve to worry about. I should have left that one in the jungle. Just let him roam, roam free. Stronger hearts don't really care about... Projectile duplication. Nah. Trick blood money, nah. I'll re-roll that. Um we got the quads here. Quads are great, but I don't have a wand with the capacity for it. We got Eldritch Portal. Um Oh! We got Taika Salva again. So I had a run uh, last stream on Tuesday. I had a pretty good start to a run going in the mines. And I had picked up an electric wand. And I literally like, this was like a 10 second thing where I said like, I gotta be careful scrolling through my stuff um, because of the electric wand. And I forgot what it was, like I was in the water or something. And this is again like 10 seconds later. And like I knew it as it happened, I'm scrolling through. Boom, I'm dead. <laughs> it's like, no. Yeah, I, I wanna find out. I wanna find out if they if they're gonna work. I don't see why it would hurt me. Anti are you reading that on the wiki? <laughs> oh, okay. Then I won't try it. Expanding sphere is a goofy one. Not a fan. So then, I won't even buy Healing Bolt then. Because that's not gonna help me, is it? Oh, wait, wait. I'll just do the other Takasalva. Maybe we get something good. Oh, that one's a funky looking one. Don't like it. Oh, whatever is worth it. It's worth trying. You know what I kind of want to do though is let's see. They don't have like busted mana charge. That'd be good for luminous drills. I'd kind of like to set up luminous drills for Steve, for Big Dick Steve. So it sounds like if they do anti-synergize with Healing Bolt... Um... A wand like this would just kill you immediately. <laughs> That'd be a lot of damage. Alright, we have Gas Blood. Breathless, Telekinetic Kick. I think Gas Blood actually... I was reading about this earlier, let me double check. I think that makes you immune to freezing vapor? No. 
What, what's the one? Oh, it's um, gas fire. Gas fire does it. It protects you against freezing vapors. Okay. I'm not really as toxic immunity. Hmm, that is good. Toxic sucks. I'm also I'm. Oh man, that's one thing I don't have to switch my switch to my water flask for. And there's usually a lot of toxic in in the uh, the art here. Or do I re-roll? We got the money. We could do a couple re-rolls. No more knockback. Hungry ghost eats projectiles, cordyceps. See, I kind of like no more knockback. I had hungry ghost going recently and he was good. I want to do the ghost synergy sometime because there's like the ghost, the Luki and the rat synergies. I've never done those. Gives another damage boost? Are you serious? Let's see. We'll take him, why not? I'm not seeing that. Oh, every time it- oh, okay. Oh, we killed the statue. I think the statue has like 30,000 health. <laughs> Just chewed through that. Um, okay, the last thing I'm thinking about here is... This... Hold on. Will this be good for Big Dick Steve? Oh! That terrifies me. That's probably not good for me, is it? It didn't seem to hurt me. No, it's not hurting me. Okay. That freaked me out for a second. <laughs> That might be good for Big Dick Steve. Um, that might pierce through his shield very effectively. Luminous drills do a lot of damage too. That's also like really long range damage. That's longer range, I think. Let's see. It goes like off the screen a tiny bit. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, let's dig our way out of here. I know you're very angry. <laughs> I hate those tick things. Oh, came in clutch. Ah! Oh no. Oh, see? I did the thing. I did what I said I would. I scrolled the wrong way. I didn't realize until it was too late. That lag concerned me. I think I might do a save and exit real quick. pretty close to the last boss, but lag like that concerns me. I keep thinking my wand's going off a second time like my mouse is double clicking or something weird. But it's literally, it's the trigger happening and it just throw me off.
Hold on a second. Um, I think I tried that, didn't I? Find out. Let me just check one thing in here. Let me remove that. Yeah, the trigger makes that weird. We could probably do it with this. Yeah. We could sustain that, but we probably won't do as much damage. Because then the trigger is also popping off and dealing damage. So it probably halves our damage. Yep. If we had two chainsaws, um... we we'll probably do what I'm wanting. It's crazy. Just switch a couple things around like that and boom, like huge differences in damage. So I finally learned something about those ticks. And it is that you... So I, I, I mentioned the other day a couple ways you could kill them. I got an Uko. Very dangerous boy. Um, where did he go? He fell. I really hate those those big flies. Wait, unstable polymorph? Wait, what is that? I don't feel like I've seen unstable. There's chaotic. What is unstable? No, you don't. I am deathly terrified of the concept of unstable polymorphine. Oh no. Get out of here, lag. Oh wait, the ticks are, are useless now, aren't they? Or did I confirm that before they could still- yeah, they could still hurt me. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, so what I was gonna say about them is that they have a crystal nearby. That's one way to kill them. So I believe physics damage will kill them. You can do an earthquake, you can shatter one of those crystals. Or, uh, uh, well, different kinds of crystals, basically. The red crystal, we shatter one earlier. And that crumbles all the ground nearby. Um, like if that falls on them, that's one way to uh, to kill the uh, the tick thing, apparently. But they also have like a unique crystal that's tied to each one. That's the red crystal I'm talking about. They have a unique crystal tied to each one, and ow. So I hate those flies. They got mad range on that, and it just covers so much area. See, so yeah, if you could pop that crystal, the tick just dies immediately. I'm still thinking about that. Yeah, let's save and quit right now. Because when we go into the Holy Mountain, we're going to have to fight a Big Dick Steve. And the game's kind of lagging and doing some funky stuff. So I don't want to be caught with my dick out. Ah. Terrible. That's on me, but I didn't really take any notable damage. What the hell is happening? Screen just went wild. Oh! Oh, look at this nerd. Look at this loser. I'm totally gonna let this happen.
It's just slightly amusing to watch. I don't know how much health he has. Clearly a decent amount. Because he's taking damage pretty quickly. Is that like, is that more than one? I think it is two. Oh, it's hard to tell. Anytime now. There we go. Oh, it was a bunch of the little small dudes. Like from the first area. I thought it was those uh, fly things. I was thinking, like, they look weird. But I was assuming it was just due to the sand. Oh, also, I think you can... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that floor is diggable. Not the easiest thing to do without a better wand, but that floor is indeed diggable. That is something I recently learned. Just as a rule that I guess the floor under the lava like that is diggable in this area. Ooh. Can we not? I'll let them come up here. Or... We have a stupid... Ah! <laughs> so his crystal's up that way somewhere. Oh! Ghost worm. What the hell? He's freaking out. Shit. And I scrolled the wrong way again. It's an eight. I uh, can't really do much with it. I don't know much about the ghost worms other than they exist. to that. Slosh that up. That thing's already dead. I'm not sure which mage that is, and I don't want to find out. So one of the things... I mean, we see there's a sheep here. And that's already concerning. Because... I guess it's blood. I don't know what that bottom liquid is. We see there's a sheep here, which should be concerning, because if you know, you know. Um, there are things here that can polymorph you. But even without that, I mean, we already saw unstable polymorphine, so... There's concerns we've already seen. Polymorphine... I, I don't know what unstable is. That, that one's new to me. Because I know about chaotic polymorphine. So I don't know how unstable works. Chaotic polymorphine will turn you into, like, anything, basically. As far as I know, like, all the enemies and stuff. Which could end up being something uh, good. It could end up being like a really tough enemy, and then you're gonna you're gonna be happy for a little bit. You're gonna have a lot of health. You're gonna be able to do some cool attacks or something. That's that's the chaotic. That guy, I believe, does chaotic uh, polymorph to you. Um. So that's chaotic polymorphing. Regular polymorphing is the shitty one, is the really shitty one, I should say, <laughs> um, because it just turns you into a sheep that has like one health, so you'll die in one hit, you'll have an awful time. So we got that Uko. Now for Big Dick Steve, huh?
I think I'm gonna go for the safety heal. Got 177 health. We have some some stuff that'll help us out here, but this guy, the only I've only fought him once, and he was fucking me up. Okay, no, we got him. We got him. Safety heal barely needed. Actually, we would have. I think we would have been fine. We have 420 health. Yeah, we would have been fine. All right, I was I was nervous. Shit. See, we could get the ghost synergy right now. If I if I um, could take two perks, that sucks. We get oil blood to be immune to fire. Enemy radar. I'm gonna take oil blood for the fire immunity because it doesn't protect against lava, but it will protect against burning from lava. So it's partial protection against lava, if that makes sense. Um, what do we have here? Nine slots. Really, really good charge speed. Whoa. Um... We... We don't get the good recharge time like I have now, though. Now, here's a spell that I, I've wanted... I was actually gonna comment on this when I started up the stream. Because we saw the, the Nola logo, which is the um, developer of the game. Nola is the Finnish word that means the same thing as zero as well. So, um, the duration of a projectile is set to zero. Um, I've never used this, but I'm aware of infinite wisps and everything and how you can use different things to make a projectile last forever. You need negative one duration, uh, is my understanding. Uh, so this doesn't quite get us to that, but... I just want to cast this. Yeah, see, it doesn't even do any of the weird boomerang stuff now. But if we go to our um, new thing here, we see Nola. Oh, he's cast rock, yeah. Except he's not doing it because the duration is zero. Or no, oh, that was the other wand, my bad, yeah. That was the other wand. There's some goofy ones. Uh, I had a wand earlier. Uh, I was in another run, but it's... Also, the one that showed up earlier that the portal came on. And it always cast, like, concentrated light in, like, a three-way thing or something. The first time I cast it, I didn't rec I didn't notice that it had that on there. I was like, oh, it's got good stats. Boom, let's go. I built a machine gun out of it. I almost killed myself because it just started going ham and backfiring on me. Quadruple scatter spell. Um... And he said, uh, we did pass up a homing spell earlier if I really wanted to scour back through the map. Um, but here, uh, oh yeah, the Luminous Drill Wand would destroy the Triangle Boss. So, I forget, where is the Triangle Boss? Is it in, is it in the art or something? I've seen it, like I've seen video of it, I know what you're talking about. Um, I don't even know how to do that boss. I don't know if that would be a viable thing. It is in the art. Is it something that I should try? Like I could do circle of still uh, or uh, circle of displacement and go up top. I did that wrong, by the way. I like how quickly it just peters out. Actually, ooh, I, just, I can't see. I'm getting ideas now. Hold up. We have we have this one here with 1,500 mana charge speed. I'm going to use that. I can make the exact same... My damage wand, which is more consistent mana. Yeah, I've seen the boss. I've just never tried it. How do you summon it, though? Like, how do you actually fight it? Do you just go up to it, or, or do you have to do some weird puzzle? So I generally assume... Oh, oops. Oh, well, let's see what it looks like. Uh, we're having a problem. It's recharge, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's the recharge. 
so we can't. But I wasn't looking at it for that. I just copied the wrong wand. I was looking at it for the luminous drills. Let's get these luminous drills up here. Now they're gonna kill recharge time and stuff quite a bit. I wanna see it with and without the Nola. Oh, look at my big pee pee. <laughs> this does a little more bounciness. I can't believe that's not that doesn't hurt me when it does come back. That's surprising. You need to throw eggs at it. Yeah, so that's why I was curious. I was like, I thought there was a puzzle associated with it. Um, you know, it's funny. We passed up an egg thing earlier. I remember seeing hollow egg. Why am I putting all that shit on, on there? I don't want it. I remember seeing a uh, hollow egg earlier. I don't know where it's at. That'd be a pain in the dick to scour back through the whole map looking for it. I'm glad to have Nola now added to my spells. There's still a few other spells that I haven't cast yet. Wait, those are... <laughs> those are eggs? <laughs> they house a friendly creature, they're not hollow, but would that work? Is that something I should try? Is this worth trying? Because I've seen, it's like three triangles or something, and they try and, I forget how they even fight you, they like smush you or whatever. I swear I've seen it <laughs> in video. How many eggs do you need? This enough? Let's get rid of, have I used acid trail? That's the question. I assume I have. Yes. Just throw three. Um, well, I would carry some with me, but I don't feel like it. We'll just do this. Get the triple spell off of there. Alright, I think that's one way to, to try it. Yeah, this is a, a YOLO thing. Like, I will go ahead and give it a try. As... As I, you know, I think I said earlier, you're never gonna like fight these optional bosses and stuff if you don't do it. You know, at some point you gotta actually get up there and do it. Oh, whoops. Like if I, I could just sit here and be like, nah, I don't want to do it. I might die. Like, okay, but then when am I ever gonna do it? <laughs> I know I could use black holes and stuff too. I know you're angry, don't be. What if I spawned another Steve? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, we got a problem, don't we? We're in the laboratory, doesn't this not dig back up into the temple? I don't have the... I don't have the portal or anything to go back up. Um, if I, if I remember the map correctly, oh my god, I hate when that happens. If I remember the map correctly, we gotta go over to the left as well, don't we? To get from the laboratory to the Temple of the Art. Yeah, and the triangles deal physics damage too, don't they? So like, just, they'll smoosh into you and stuff like you're talking about with the... With the black hole. Yeah, I think I was right, because we would have already dug back up into the temple if it was directly above. Do some exploration and stuff, I guess. I forgot all about the triangle boss, though, for real.
I know, again, I think I already said, but I know I can use black holes, but they're a lot more limited. This is not. Look how far that digs. It's crazy. Look at this. And before lava starts pouring in. I think there there is a lot of lava somewhere around here. Oh, we got a tick, so we know we're in the vicinity. This son of a bitch. Stop it! <laughs> Nothing I can do to him right now. He's, he's like leashed around his crystal. So if I can keep enough distance, he won't be able to get to me. Oh, the, do that ghost scared the shit out of me. He's, you see me react to that like, oh shit, I gotta hit that ghost. So you do think this will this will be good on the uh, on the triangle? Even because it's not digging super fast. I don't know how much of the triangle you have to erase to kill it, right? That's kind of what I'm asking. Better than projectiles? Okay. Whoa! You're teleporting me. Alright. Help me find what I'm looking for then. Get your polymorphing self out of here. Ain't nobody got time for that. Berserkium. Could totally get some Berserkium. I'm assuming that makes Luminous Drills stronger, right? Oh, we got Ambrosia too, which would... We got stuff that can help. See, I forget about the Ambrosia. Oh, shit! Oh, this stupid fucking thing. <laughs> Dude, you see how long it took me to even recognize that? I was trying to cut through that shit. Alright, hold on. I am very annoyed now. Okay, can I stop sliding? I know there's oil, but... I don't want to kick that. Here, let's... Lightly drop that. Here we go. I'm trying to get this thing, like, safely away. Alright, can we not make discs everywhere now? Ooh, Ambrosia. That's what I needed, right? Ambrosia plus blood. Good. It's pure Ambrosia. Well, there's some oil getting in there now. That's okay. So the right side of the Temple of the Arts. Huh? Oh, like right here, isn't it? Yeah. I think I recognize this from videos. Somewhere around here. Do we gotta dig through this? Or... Is it up?
Mm, this tick needs to get away from me. Oh, we got a ledge right here. This, ah, oh, yeah, I recognize this. Okay. Throw eggs at it, huh? YOLO? What the hell? Oh, it ate the egg. No! I'm so close to death. Ah! Oh, he's cursed! Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Oh well. That was- that wasn't- I didn't know he was gonna curse things. That's- I was wondering what was killing me so much. Um... I probably would have done that if I knew about the- I probably would have been fine if I knew about the curse. Oh well, that was an easy victory. I hate that it doesn't go on my, uh, stats though. That was an easy victory. For the last boss. Like, we had the last boss... settled. Um, what I probably should have done is, well, then I, I would have still lost the, uh, the stat for dying on that. Uh, I could do another Luminous Drill setup sometime, that's easy. Um, I just need, yeah, that was the learning experience on the, the curse thing. Um, because I had no idea. <laughs> I was like, what is killing me? Because I was like, I saw those other dudes up there, I was like, let me take care of them before they become a problem and I'm like why is my health down to five what's that and then right there I walked into it yeah I didn't even realize that 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 was a damage field right 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 there it's like let's because I was trying to get around it and not get squeezed in we dropped a, a concentrated light and uh Fire to blood or something? I don't know what that is. Um, eight new. So this is one thing. If... And this is, uh... This was a concern I had, and it does confirm it. Those did not count as kills. Um... That's something else. Uh, what, what's the bridge boss? Um, at... Near the lava lake? If you kill him with, uh... If you kill him with like black holes or something, I don't, I, don't, I don't know, I've never killed him, but I've seen some of the tricks. Like if you kill him with weird things like that, it actually doesn't count as a kill. Uh, and the same with that, if you kill them with... I, I thought I saw that for black holes, but I wasn't sure about the luminous drill. Because luminous drill does deal direct damage. But what I did see when I looked at it before was each one of the triangles is a separate... Um, is a separate entry in here. A sausage he see? Where? This? Is oh, is that what that is? That's not dynamite? I didn't even notice that. I like moused over it and just walked like just went on with my business. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> Goki he see. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it does suck that it was so late into the game, but again, the problem is you have to try that bef like, I'm never gonna get the stuff if I don't do it, right? Like, if I don't go and fight the dude, I'm never gonna ever, like, uh, get any unlocks or whatever that are associated with it, right? Um, same with, like, the Alchemist, different things like that. So it's like, I have to actually get in there and try it. And the thing is, like, I... I assume we can both agree that was like an easy, like, the last boss was going to be nothing. <laughs> With uh, either of those wands, either the Luminous Drills or the, uh, the the Gatling wand I had, like, last boss was going to be easy. Like, that was that was a, a cinched victory for the last boss. Um, but now I know that that triangle curses me, and I know that if I can get a Luminous Drill set up like that, I can go in and take the triangle easy next time. Um, because I'll know what to expect. So I'll need the eggs, and I'll need the, the uh, like a Luminous Drill kind of setup. But if I want to do it and actually get kill credits, I'll have to figure something else out.
I remember this guy, the Santa one. This was back in 2019 when I got all those kills, when I was just going through this game like crazy. I don't know what the difference between these two are. Oh, that's... That's rough. Um... I studied a little bit of Finnish a long time ago, so I know, like, the pronunciations, but it's like looking at the... at the word and just, like, having to parse all of that. As I mentioned before, I, I, there's a song by Moon Sorrow called, uh, Huto, and the... the first line of the song is just one word, Silman Kanta Matomin. It's like, it, it, they just break it out into syllables and make it into an entire line because it's such a long word. Like, Finnish is, is crazy. One of them is weaker from the mines? Okay. Then this is the weaker one, because I've killed more... I mean, I would assume this is the weaker one, if I've killed more. Because you'd see them more often in the mines. I would guess. I don't know. And it comes first. All right. Well, it's been four hours and 50 minutes. Almost five hours. And I gotta worry about like work and stuff tomorrow. So, let's look at this one more time. Yeah, that does erase them very effectively. I was actually curious about how it was going to erase them. Because I was thinking like, look at how slow it digs through the other rock and stuff. I was thinking it wouldn't be as effective. That is actually super effective. I'm glad you mentioned that though. Because I completely didn't even think about, like, that being a possibility. But that's just super a possibility. That's nowhere near as difficult as I thought it would be. Again, if I don't want the kill statistics. If I want the kill statistics, then I'll have to find another way to do it. Also, have I even killed the ticks? I don't think so. Alright. Well... I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up so I can get to bed. It's 22.13. Oh, thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out today. Um, really appreciate that. But we got all the emotes dropping in. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. And uh, again, that just gave me more ideas on stuff I can do later. So that's always fun. Obviously, we got no gold record because I didn't do gold biome or anything today. Um, places, with, no new records, but decent 60 items found. Not too bad, at least for the kind of runs I do. But that was good. That was one run today. Uh, I, I will say this: I'm getting more consistent, and that's what I'm really going for: is that consistency. That this was trying something new. If and I'm not saying this in a negative way, but like if I had, if I just went straight for the last boss, we would have won. I am 100% confident we would have beat the last boss. Um, that's consistency. Like, not you know starting up a stream and and you know dying a bunch or something, you know dying five times. This was one one game. This was one run. You <laughs> know it lasted like over four hours, almost five hours. Uh, and, and more of my runs are getting like that. So that's that's kind of getting the foothold in to get me to fight more of these optional bosses and stuff like the triangles, like the alchemist, um, eventually moving up to like the, the moons and the suns and shit like that. Because I want to do all that shit. I want to do all that. It's going to, it sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, I am just wrapping up. Had a fun time trying an optional boss here at the end. We, it was basically a, a, a victory. And it was like, but I could try this optional boss, YOLO. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> uh, so it was a lot of fun, though. It was a good run. It was a good run, Jaeger. Um, but I'm glad you stopped in, though. Oh, and you said game over, though. I gotta do it. So anyway, uh, kind of been rambling there a little bit, but I will be doing another run tomorrow, actually. Uh, I am going to start up another game to run in parallel with this soon, but I decided tomorrow, given that it's going to be another late stream with, like, you know, having to work and all that, 
um, that I think I'll do this tomorrow night. So if you want to catch some, I will be doing this tomorrow night for sure. And I think Saturday, Sunday being longer, like non-working days. Um, actually, I'm off Monday too. So I think I might do a story uh, game. I have a game in mind. Uh, it probably won't take too long. I could probably beat it in like two days or something. But I'll probably pull up another game too. But I'm going to keep this in regular rotation for a while. Um, because I want to do all the optional stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Thank you to anyone who showed up today, whether you were lurking, chatting, masturbating, whatever you like to do while you watch the stream. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you're new here, uh, you like what you see, please consider doing what Sluggerath just did and dropping a follow. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please consider liking, and subscribing, and hitting, hitting that notification bell, or even leaving a comment if you're so inclined. I greatly appreciate all that. I stream here right now every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I'm going to add on definitely this next week because I'm off Monday. So I'm going to stream Monday as well. Um, but I'm thinking of adding Mondays and Wednesdays back on. <laughs> Nothing beats out like that. I'm going to think of adding uh, Mondays and Wednesdays back on permanently. I've got a better work-life balance than my last job. So uh, we'll see what happens. But definitely this week I'm off Monday. So we're streaming for sure. It's going to be a good time. Uh, nice, nice long stream. Midday Monday, like noon central or something. Let's go. All right, though. Enough of me rambling. Um, thank you again, anyone who tuned in. Uh, until next time, have a good day, have a good night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Take it easy.